To see a night remake? Same. And then Matt Mercer could voice everyone. Okay, I think I'm ready. I think my materia stuff is set up. Alright. I'm ready. This is on- this is one. I'm missing one manuscript. <laughs> Laundry! Okay. <sighs> They're like, you sure? You really sure? Oh my god, we're start- Oh, we're starting from the prologue. We're so we get to see the beginning cutscenes again! Oh wait, I I did skip the Zach. I have Zach on auto skip. I should probably turn that off. But I don't think it matters to the prologue. <laughs> I'm waiting, Cloud. <laughs> what a cool intro! I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. The smoke rising Being from able the to replay the game. Reminiscent of a funeral pyre. Is like... There's probably so many things we can actually pick up on now. In a series of crises. I didn't skip that! Bombings, followed by the fall of the... I would never... The fall of the Sector 7 plate culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through sectors 0, 1, and 2. 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado Holy to crap. weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. Wait, they think Avalanche caused a tornado. Final Thoughts series videos on YouTube. I was thinking about doing like a interpretation of the ending video. It's just so time consuming. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wu Tai and has begun investigations into the matter. Avalanche does control the weather. They're so smart. I wish I knew how to control the weather. Oh, there's Terrier Stamp! See what I mean, guys? Every every scene that Zach's in, there is some sort of dog that they, like, deliberately show one way or another. But the last Zach scene, like, in the post game, you don't see a single dog. Which, and that's deliberate. Because otherwise they would have done what they've done. So I'm thinking Zach's in main timeline by the end of the game. Because if they didn't want us to think that, they'd show a, a dog but they did they show no dog there's a lot there's a lot all the zach zach timeline himself has like four dogs in it yeah well one one of the zacks in made timeline who the fuck knows yeah flowers are alive in that church too we don't really know specifically if that's main timeline, but we can only assume because, like, if they all merged... I know Cloud's in between timelines, which is why he can see stuff. Because I, I think, it, I think like, the whole Cloud thing is he's just, like, bleeding through time, or, like, he has, like, the bleed-through effect from different timelines, but they're all still main timeline. Oh, Zach! I love Zach. <laughs> I'm so happy to see him in like all pretty graphic. I hope the Zach stuff gets. I think I think everything with part two with Zach is just a very elaborate way to bring Zach back. Playing hard mode. Like the hero yeah. favorite. When it rains, it pours. He's definitely one of my favorites. Oh, over there. Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. The only thing is, like, it doesn't make sense that this is happening, like, at this time, because the end of Crisis Core happened like well before. Then 
taking out Shinra. So I don't really know how that merged, how that happened. Ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Highly dangerous. Because, like, if he already has the buster sword... I repeat, that's the only thing that doesn't make sense to me. Armed with a buster sword. Huh? Back over here! The rescue team has pulled people from the rubble. Tifa. Quick, that timeline off. sucks. He got sent forward a couple months, but Cloud would have had to as well since he's dragging Cloud. So this timeline has two clouds in it, which is weird. Oh, red. We are expelling via helo now. Move it. We're taking off. What? <laughs> Answered every question with yes, pretty much. Ravalash decided to attack earlier. Maybe, but the 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 fate split in like Destiny's Crossroads at the end of the remake. So like none of this timeline stuff makes sense entirely to me. Excuse me. Could you look after my friend? Just no, don't leave him with Kyrie. Too much Mako, but he'll be fine. <laughs> hey! Well, screw in the cave and some time travel stuff. Yeah. It's like, they couldn't even tell, like, a week apart. Get him, Red! See, that to me makes it- makes me think that because, like, Red knows what Aerith... Oh my god, look, we're playing as Zack. First players play old character, Zack. That, to me, like, Red waking up to attack the pilots is because, like, he knows as much as Aerith does. So he was literally, like, doing that just to save Aerith so that Zack could get her. Yeah, Red... Red's... Red's a smart boy. Am I going the right way? Oh my god, Zack. I can't even attack. Oh, I don't have a menu. Seeing Red get hurt, here's the worst part. I know. He's just a puppy. This is when Red and Aerith lose their memories from the Prime timeline. I think so, because they said like the the memories of the whispers fade. Yeah. It's all there to bring Zack back. Wait, so where- hold on. We're right outside Sector 5. I wish I could bring up the map and see. Where are the White Whispers at? Well, the White ones are newer, but I don't know. It's freaking Life Screen Whispers, Sephiroth Whispers. I don't like that. Sector 5 gate, part 3 reference right away. Oh no, look at him! Red, thank you! They only heard Buster Sword, so I guess they think he's Cloud. Wait, I'm on hard mode, but not that this matters. Peace. <laughs> a little kick. The busters are there. I think they just assume it's Cloud. So I think they only think it's one. But not there now there's two. And then Zach could just do this. No, there's no HP bar for this. Zach, you could have. Zach's like he acts like he does does that every day. Yeah, I don't have a health bar, so I don't think you can lose this part. Zach's hyped up on Aerith adrenaline. Bye now. I don't want to 
see it hurt, Red. Save him too, he could be okay. Where's the ancient? Heads are gonna roll if we don't find her. Just shut the hell up and search. This is so messed up. All of it. But I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. There's the good white materia. That's so cruel for making <laughs> that scene be referenced twice in the same game. This also makes us think she's dead, but then she's fine. Things was saved and brought into this timeline. It makes me think that, because these are only the timelines we see, so I'm betting there's like other timelines where it was Jesse and Wedge that got right, taken, man. but Seems we only we saw the, the Zack and Big the one. Us about you and your buddy Sephiroth. Sure. Sephiroth? If Tifa doesn't mind. Oh, Tifa's like, please don't me? tell me. Yeah, no problem. It's cool. I know, Fog. It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then, and the little there was it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came up. A mission with suffering. <laughs> I couldn't believe my luck. Then where Finny gets to bury Sid. <laughs> Can I bury Vincent in that timeline? And we, we can have brunch and gossip. It's really coming down, huh? Hey man, feeling any better? Look, Cloud talking Good. to Cloud. He even has sure his hair. I saw it. I wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. <laughs> He's so friendly. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. Well, he was 16 and young. Hey, rein it in. <laughs> Sorry. No can do. Kids. Kids. Say, I'd like to be briefed on the mission at some point. Yeah, OG windshield wiper is way better. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Butai, stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. So wide. Well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. Boring. <laughs> so upset. <sighs> Fine. Job's a job, I guess. <laughs> we, we need a wide Sephiroth emo. <laughs> Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Got some fiends in our 12. Fiends on our 12. Sephiroth, I'm surprised he doesn't have to constantly duck Let's in that go. truck. <laughs> He's just so large. Damn, he's so graceful. <laughs> you take one, I'll take the other. And then BAM! Playable Sephiroth. An army of Zax. Can I have an army of Sephiroth too? Wait, we already did. Nah, the real Nibelheim flashback happens like later. Wait in the truck. 
No way. I got this. <laughs> oh, I got second playable character. Wee. Oh no, Sephiroth got plopped. Oh, there's- oh, Cloud's actually... there. Nice. Look, I still don't have a health bar. Good job, Sephiroth. You're showing off on this... common enemy. Damn. He slipped on mud. He's still really cool. That should have been the dragon. He was in a different league from the rest of us. It was just a regular enemy. God, he's so Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. They ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. Best they had. <laughs> you might say he was like level 50. <laughs> Whatever, we're level 70. Yes, more Nibelheim. And Sephiroth's already weird here. I have no home. <laughs> home, sweet home, right? No, I. I've... Tell me, how does it feel? I, I love the stuff he says. I have no home, so I wouldn't know. You still got parents, though, right? Oh, God, Zach, don't. A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father. Oh, there. Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm getting to that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on. Let's go. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Something's missing from this town, and it's definitely... Consider yourself off-duty till sundown. Definitely some black robes doing their laundry. I like how Cloud's just like face looks entirely different too. Like, I know he's supposed to be like younger and stuff, and that's why they're doing it, but like just his facial expressions. Like this ain't Cloud. Didn't watch all these streams. Did they ever put Genesis in the game? I was safe, not a single Genesis. Um looks Someone say it looks like a puppy. Nah, I really like, um... I, I'm, I, I'm probably gonna talk about this all the time. But I like how Sephiroth was almost willing to share his history with Zack. But then Sephiroth's like, well, the last time I had friends, my life got ruined and I lost them. So there's no point in making friends. And that's why he held himself back. He would have, he was ready to like, be friends with Zack. This place, Don't you worry. this place is so much better well, without sure Chadley. Wait, Chadley would be here. <laughs> Chadley! Last time I had friends, they recited Loveless all the time. I don't need- That should be his first question. Be like, hey Zach, you like Loveless? No? Okay, we can be best friends now. Thanks, Sephiroth here knowing he'd find out with Genova. I know, he's- he, he planned it too well. we'll make sure you guys are ready for your hike up the mountain tomorrow. Yeah, Hojo definitely set this up. No one ever thought Moria would be here every time I see black robes. I see it. I hear it. I feel safe now that soldiers are here. 
Now that the soldiers are here. I think his eyes open ever that wide during the game. Uh, yeah, no, they're like... It, that That's what I mean about his eyes, like, or about his whole Don't face. Like, his expressions we'll are just sure so... Are so different. Tomorrow. Like, his biggest eyes. Like, even his, like, sighs are dramatic. Gonna be here a while? Then come you faintly hear his music there. How much would have been prevented if Aerith did not gatekeep killing Hojo and Kosa de Sol? Honestly, I'm kind of mad that she didn't allow that. Like, girl, you're- just let him do it! Who cares that this isn't the way? Oh, we can go up this right now? Hold on. The old water tower. I'm gonna go straight to Sephiroth. Cause I just forgot what he does up here. So, how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess? After two years away, and all that. Uh huh. Uh huh, Tifa. <laughs> yeah, right. Look, look at his face. He's just. So different. Yeah, how about when- if Zack talked to Vincent in Crisis Core instead of like, I should let him sleep. No, come on, Zack. God, Zack- Zack's the one that blew it. Also, what was Zack doing in the seven days that Sephiroth was down there reading? Like, did he not th should he have- shouldn't he have called Shinra and be like, Sephiroth's, uh, locked himself in the library? I'm- I'm getting kind of bored in this town. Here, I'm gonna steal- I mean, look through Tifa's stuff. You went to my place? What if I lie to her? No. No. <laughs> Tifa, I'm kidding. I definitely went into huh? your place. You went to my place? Yes. I mean, side I quest you might be there. for Yuffie. For freaking the seven days. You're calling me a puppy and stuff. Can I talk to HR? <laughs> All right, like at least HR. Guys, I think Sephiroth's hitting on me. HR, please, please respond. Like, oh, and then HR responds like, ah, yeah, he does that. Just, he's first class soldier. Just let him do what he wants. Like, it's so highly inappropriate. You went into my room? I did. I did. You went through my stuff? <laughs> I know I shouldn't have. <laughs> Cloud! You asshole! <laughs> I just really like the interaction. Did Wait. you actually play it? Went to town on it. Wait, can we actually? Because in the in the when the first playthrough, you can't. So now Cloud's not a liar. Because I actually have sheet music. Yes. Anyway, yeah, it was a really great song, Tifa. You just have to take my word for it. Could have just left it alone, you know. Yeah. What were you even thinking? Yeah, uh, don't quit your day job. Well, but did wait a minute? Does that mean Cloud said he played it badly? If Barrett said, "Don't quit your day job," yeah, like uh, I went to town on the piano, but I sucked at it, you know. Like, no, you lie, Cloud. You'd be like, "Yes, I played piano." I got an S rank, even though you can't. It's a star rank, but I still got an S rank. It was breathtaking. Uh, Nobuo Uematsu asked me to perform with him on stage next time. It went really great. That's how, that's how you lie. Kind of being really specific with this story. <laughs> it's just because I, I just remember it so well. Because it was just such an honor that Uematsu-san asked me to play for him. Even like throws in the saw, not Mister. Hey, Zangin. Hmm. A soldier. And you are? Rashard Sangan, a humble traveler of the world. Went through Tifa things. I don't think you lie about how well he plays piano. 
But I feel like my first playthrough, they said that, oh, you should play for us sometime, Cloud. And Cloud's like, oh, fuck, now I gotta learn how to play piano. Whoa! Call HR on this guy. Well toned, but lacking mass. If Sephiroth did that to Cloud, or Zack, we would need HR. This man, though, is scary. You a lot from me. I feel like you could get away with it. Pass. Like, this man's just flexing in a hotel. What is he doing? At last count, 128. Sephiroth did that. He's not stopping there. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? That's so mean. Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. I love... Cody is Cloud and all of this is so funny. Like, the way, like, the narrator, Cody, or narrator Cloud and Zach Cloud, like, they're both just so good. <laughs> like, when he's just like, you went through my stuff? I did. <laughs> it's so good. Him and Dio are related? I hope so. Can't let old men grab us without consent. Yeah, Cloud. Dude, I didn't realize his pants were so... <laughs> We're all thrilled to have you. You can watch again, yay! That's how he sets himself up failure with Tifa later. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna blow it. Sephiroth! I just break into his room? <laughs> what if he's just like asleep? Do I still have to check the other things? I, could, I thought I could just mosey on with the story. I gotta go talk to my mom. Goodness! Then I stop him. Oops, sorry. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. Go on. Tifa. <laughs> that I went to Seth Ruster and stole his panties too. I don't think it I don't think it's that Tifa lost memories. I think she remembers this very vividly. She's just wondering why and how Cloud knows this information. So she's like kind of egging him on a little bit. First time. And last. I'll be right there. Cloud, is that you? Hey. Her head forgot some stuff from her childhood. Welcome I assumed home. it meant Come in. like when she was like little, like a, like blue dress here. Tifa. My, my. Because I, so that's what they've got. Because like in her home. in her flashback so in the trials, nice. like she does like this is just clearly such a traumatizing thing for her. I don't think she'd ever forget I've this. And I think so the trial cool. kind of confirmed it. The man you've become. Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. <clears throat> I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. Yeah, and I guess like after this, when she's being An taken old, care of by... Girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. Oh, that one doctor? A silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree? Freaking Cloud? horror movie. You're my son. Of course, I'll always be an older, more mature girl like Sephiroth. That's enough. <laughs> it's always the whispers taking memories. Do you like how she what says reference? She can't remember Cloud being anymore. We were, but it's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> our reasons. Huh? Our. But most of them had to do with you. He's so, like, pouty. <laughs> He's a little proud. 
I do like how they have to make him younger, so they kept his body the same. They just chubbied his face a little bit. <laughs> um, it's not some. It wasn't so much like reading a theory, I guess, but it just made me some something somebody said made me think. But like, the OG Aerith death is what actually happened, and that's what everyone else saw. But since Cloud made his own timeline where he saved Aerith, and that's all he knows. Cloud, that that technically wasn't his timeline. Like that's the one that he's choosing to believe, because he's in denial. But he's very clearly in denial that she died. But everyone else saw it. Ugh. It's really sad. But I wish, I wish we still got to see it. Gonna go through five stages of grief in part three in the first like hour. <laughs> Basically, make it all over when he's a bad boy. No, uh. Flesh him holding a body, what earth, what everyone else sees. Yeah, and like he mouths stuff that you don't hear. So I think it's like when he says she'll never be able to smile, never be able to laugh or get angry or whatever he says. I think that's what he's saying because that's what he says in the OG. Yeah, so it's, it's not so much a theory, it's just I, I felt like I wanted to say it. Because that, that does seem like it, that's exactly what's going on. I kind of just didn't know what else to call it. <sighs> Mod baby Rose's face! <laughs> no, not Cloud. That runs into just tricky visions. I'm thinking... I'm, and I'm thinking the the black materia that Cloud has, because remember they said it was fake. I'm thinking the one that Cloud has is fake, but like Sephiroth even also says is important. So I think it's it's like not even fake. I think it's like a part one to what Sephiroth needs. You're in Cancun. Oh shit, is that for your chicken meetings or whatever you're doing? Hope, hope you're having a good chicken meeting. I wonder which act of the game they will do with the cloud therapy session. Probably medial still. The key to true counterpart hidden between worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He needs it for the the real shit. You possible that Cloud's actually seeing air at the sky fissure due to him falling in the multiverse? Yeah, well, I, I think what happens, like, when the timelines did split, because, like, Cloud created a timeline himself when he, like, saved Aerith. So that's the one he still, like, chooses to be in. But when they merged, he has, like, some sort of bleed effect, so he's living in multiple timelines, almost. So, like, because, like, the sky and stuff he sees is in that would-be timeline. And the fact that Aerith's there, like, even though she probably is there due to the live stream, he do he chooses to believe she's physically there. Because, well, yeah, blocking the Blake Crow Royal Air save. Can we join for part three and the worlds can join the Frizak and they go back? Maybe, but for, as of right now, she's still in the live stream. Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. I didn't really notice at the time. I knew the clear materia was gonna play a part in the story. I called that. I kind of predicted what was gonna happen with the clear materia, like when we first saw it. And I have proof. If you go back my first playthrough and watch that part, I will straight up say I was wrong about how it happened, but I was right about what did happen and i'm pretty you know, no big deal just uh really good at guessing like that cloud is air in this universe right now with us busy with the freaking medium clear me matter will definitely or clear matter it'll definitely matter in part three you're theorizing that clear materia is the real black materia i don't i don't think that because if it was a real black materia then sephiroth wouldn't have any problems achieving it. I know, like, Aerith is, like... Like, Sephiroth underestimated Aerith, so, if she, like, we can only assume we're underestimating her. And that maybe she's playing, like, 4D chess and, like, is 30 steps ahead, but I still don't really believe that the Black Materia is, like, already attainable. Yeah, it really is 4D chess between Aerith and Sephiroth. It's cool. Once that are dead, we'll stay to us. So I don't I think Arizak will come back. We'll just be in the respective role at the end. 
is what they make it sound like. Yeah, but Zach, at the end, they show him to be in a timeline. And we can only assume they all merged, and we don't, we, they didn't show us any dog uh, in Zach's cutscene, which makes me think it was deliberately trying to avoid the fact that he is now in main timeline. Because, like, even though like, he's not technically dead, like, if Aerith's dead, like, she's dead, but, like, this could be their elaborate way of bringing Zach back so he's not technically dead anymore. Like, that could be the loophole they use with the explanation. Ran out of budget, get Oliver to show up. In that final scene he was asking for billions. He he got a stamp guy. What you looking at? This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right. <laughs> so we'll do. Tall. Night. That's that's Cloud. Come follow me. Or Zach. But I didn't I follow tried, him. But I couldn't get to sleep that night. Was too excited. Too nervous was pretty much the same for me why <laughs> yeah I was surprised too like what are you talking about the clear material could be used to make a black material like he did that's true I'm thinking the blank material like the whole point is to use it uh hold on We're late. We leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. Brian, I'm Brian. Sir, I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't. Dad. Tifa, you can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. Sephra is such a nice guy. For a posterity, sir? Not today. I love seeing regular Sephiroth so much. <laughs> Please, Sephiroth, it means a lot to us. It's just one photo. Like, that's on. another reason why There's Crisis Core is so cool. Just get, getting to see more normal Sephiroth. Aww, uh, his nod. There. I don't know. It's just. I think that's just like how Nibelheim was. We just dressed like cowboys. Thanks. Say cheese. All right, Cloud. Sounds ask to like see the picture. Ask to see a picture, Cloud. Yeah, I guess we were Later. for a while. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebel. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. The crisp air. Then she'd stick with the cowgirl. Like you, you hate it so much. Yeah, no, the original just had the white material and the black material. There were no fakes. There were no clear materia. It's all just multiple timeline bullshit. <laughs> to, like it, we get to the same thing, but like we take so many like other d paths just to get there in the remake. No, we see the real picture in, in uh, later, like in Medeal. All the the truth about this flashback happens when Cloud's losing his or has already lost his mind, basically. Looks empty. Maybe it's not. Maybe. 
takes a picture and fucks off class heavy. I normal stuff is so great. I love it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of multiverse stuff. I just like deal with it. And like unfortunately it's now enough of seven so I have to deal with it. But it is what it is. He's using material to summon his sword, Sephiroth. I think he just has it. Or <laughs> he he just does it. Yeah, why is your Masmune not on your back like a cloud? Yes, for real. I know, yeah, him in Crisis Core. I gave a clear material to Cloud so that he could kind of like store his memories of her inside it, which allows him to see her. Um, I don't think he has to see her. I think he would have seen her with or without it. Cause she she did say like, hold on, so it's like remember her by or something. So there probably is a point to it. Cause um, what if it ends up just being like a backup? Because like let's say, cause if if Sephiroth knows that one of the Aerith's did get holy, cause like there's no reason for us to not to think Sephiroth knows everything that like, no, despite him saying like he underestimated Aerith. Um, he still probably knows that she brought Holy over to main timeline. Sephiroth now is going to come up with a plan to counteract Holy because he knows what it's capable of. And that's probably what the white material, the blank materia is going to come into play. Aerith has, Aerith has plans for that materia. We just don't know what it is. And it might end up being the, um, the blank, or uh, it might end up being the black materia that the Gi need. To ruin their lives, but we don't know. Bees Rock, he'd be okay. You think you think I could fix him? I wouldn't be able to fix this guy. There is no fixing you, Sephiroth. Perhaps Zack could have been your friend, and if you would have have gone down this path. But until then, no. There's like there's like nine trillion Sephiroths or something. He's in like every timeline. <laughs> The friends a mess, ain't no fixing that menace. I know, like, can you not, like, see his plan? He wants to go to multiple universes you to destroy them. This, There's no fixing that. The first of its kind. It really put that needle on the map. Oh, yeah? I've seen a few reactors in my time, but none with such a breathtaking view. Breathtaking view. Everyone, eventually. <laughs> Man, I wish I could go on trips all over the world like you guys. <laughs> trips. <laughs> I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Sephiroth well, talking about fun. That's so cool. I bet Luffy from One Piece could fix Sephiroth. He's really good at reforming people. Or Ichiban from Like a Dragon. Ichiban could do it. Ichiban's gonna be like, but you're my friend, Sephiroth, and that'll get to him. That's, I think maybe that's what Sephiroth needed to hear. No, <laughs> like legit, like Sep Sephiroth's losing his mind and like talking in the library about Genova and all that stuff. But then Ichiban would just have to like put his hand on Sephiroth's shoulder and be like, this isn't you. I know it's not because you're my friend. You would never do this. And it's just really dramatic and Sephiroth has, and then he uh, puts himself in jail. And then that's how far Vezzy 7 is safe. going too fast for you, am I? Of course not. You're my brother, man. <laughs> yeah. But I thought you guys were in a hurry. Even so, you'll burn yourself out. <laughs> no, Kume. I'm not even close to burned out. Well, not Kume, Kume stabbing out. Sephiroth wouldn't do anything to Sephiroth. Because it would just really piss him off more, days. and then everything Ichiban tried to do, Kume undid, and now Sephiroth's back to being evil. Genesis would be the Kume. Oh, God, I knew I didn't like him or comparing him with Kume. <laughs> Puts himself in the jail. That's what happens. He turns himself in. She arrived on a bad thing. Never know if Karetsi is his true mother. Yeah, do you think it would have helped anything? What if, like, we let's just take care of Sephiroth? I know where she's crystallized. Let me just take your hand. I'll tell you the truth about everything. Just try not to go crazy. Shh. Shh, Sephiroth, I'll protect you. 
<laughs> Sephiroth being like, I'm not hiding behind Seems no rock. <laughs> and they're not nice. What do you think? I think I got this. Then they're all yours. Copy that. Sephiroth's gotta stop smiling like that. Yeah, Hellfire! Enough of you. It's on now. Enough of you. Enough of you. Why is the voice so deep there? Now. Sephiroth, rate my blade burst. That was awesome. Not you, Tifa. I think if this is how it's going to be, there doesn't seem much point in me fighting. Yes. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? Don't mind if I do. I think he liked it. I was a Kretzia. Might go insane just to find out Jenova was my mom. Well, he wouldn't have to know that she's an asshole. And that she's sorry. Lucrezia's catchphrases. I'm sorry. Take it away. Bugs! I'll protect you, Sephiroth! Brace yourself. Piece of cake. Vincent and Sin also time. <laughs> they all love my braver. They love it. They really love it. To hide his murder. He doesn't have the murder boner yet. The Ragnarok ring? I don't know what that is. Stop smiling so lovingly. I know. I hate it. I mean it's it's great, but like is that Marco? Whoa. Look out, look out, Sephiroth! I'll protect thee from the pipes. I just want Cloud to constantly do that. Yes! Start with Limit Breaker. Do you mean the God or Damarung? Is that the actual name for it? Just you watch. Just, that's in it. I just, it's really hard to get. I haven't gotten it yet. Double braver! Oh no, I missed! Sephiroth, don't look! Well, that's that. Well? God, he's so much bigger in cutscenes, I swear. They scale him up to like plus 20% at minimum. <laughs> oh yeah, Tifa does the best superhero landings. All yours. You, know you mean you it? Know. You really mean it? Ouch, my face. Let's finish this. I need to put chakra on. Get him, Cloud. That's that's real, Cloud. Well done, Trevor. Aw, Cloud's first Sephiroth compliment. I got the rest. Enough of you. What? I can't hear you from Shall we here. Pick up the pace? Not unless we absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. Then, how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. <laughs> You'd better. Cool. See you at the reactor. Soothing Breeze is- yeah, Soothing Breeze is good, but like, you're so vulnerable during it. Alright, before I forget. I don't really need this right now. I have Petrify on it. 
Think they'd like use the main story material of the flashback? I'd, that'd be mean if they didn't. Look at my party in the back that I can't use. Barrett's just chilling. <laughs> Oh, hey, Beef! Thank you for being there for seven months. That's when it started. Bring What's it up? On. Enough of you. Hi. Damn it! I was trying not to heal or kill him too fast because I want to use prayer. I could just do this. 14, it's probably okay. That's why I have a lot of MP. Please. Who's laughing? Stupid Punisher. You get MP refills at the chocobo stops, not at like the regular rest stops. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I also want to put enemy skill on, but I'm running out of materia room. I guess I can just for now. I don't really need this. Maybe healing magnify. I could just take off one of these. I think it'll be okay. I know Tifa has enemy skill. But now Cloud has it. I think at the Chocobo ones you get MP though. Actually... But now I'm running out of material slots so I had on equip it. Because they're not fully leveled. Chakra's really good as well because it gets rid of poison. I feel like that's pretty common in this game. But it's just the healing is so bad. Like it's better than nothing, but it's like you already have to be dying for Chakra to do anything. Because if you're at like half health, it doesn't hey. really do much. Girl, it's a dead end. Rockslide took out the bridge a while ago. Come on back, okay? Okay. Just walk straight. <laughs> yes, mom. Whatever you say, Tifa. So I was picking up items that I don't need. You know how it is. This way. Gotta make a detour through a Shinra facility. To think I almost made you our guide. Good thing I reconsidered. Otherwise, you'd have led us straight off a cliff. Lead on. Yes.
They're both making jokes at my expense. Let's set for that for this terminal. No! No, it's mine! Damn it, you pushed me. Look at all these potions I'm never gonna use! Vincent crack jokes like this is X game. Dude, he's already so funny. <laughs> Plays cards. Can't operate technology unless it's old. Sephiroth, hold on, I gotta pick up items. Is that a Madouge? The stupid screamer. Should have been a Madouge. Does Madouge translate to screamer or something? Here, can I. Probably die before. Well, I just wanted to see if, how much of the burst I'd get. Probably not. Should use Sonic Boom instead. Thanks for the help, Sephiroth. To that item down there that I'm not gonna pick up. The reactor may have been oh, it's not working. Hit it. That's. He's so smart for that. Try not to breathe it in if you can. Don't want to get Don't worry, guys. I got this. Self-destruct on Materia, keep her and let Starfrog 1v1 for the lull. <laughs> Scream movie Madouge? Madouge 7? <laughs> Look at the translation and know it's something similar in Japanese. What? They took away Madouge for nothing? We're in our party for hard mode if we ask nicely. Sephiroth, well, it's getting getting awfully close to this elevator. Join my party, Sephiroth. Join my party. I can't wait for people to mod Sephiroth in the main party on PC. Yeah, you know what? There's gonna be plenty of reason to replay it on PC. <laughs> Imagine all the challenges is like way easier with him. It's like, why well, already 100% the game legit on- well, I haven't yet, but I will. 100% the game legit on PS5. I'm gonna cheat to do it again <laughs> with Sephiroth. There's a good Sephiroth in other universes? Maybe. Maybe there's a Sephiroth who's, like, disgusted with- with what his other Sephiroth counterparts have been doing. Take over the world! I don't think so. Rain. You want to die now? Don't die. Just restart the game again. Look, everyone's here. Yeah, Roche party member. On PC, anything is possible. Watch him scale terribly at higher levels. Oh I was man. Thinking about crossing that thing. Okay, might as well take care of it. Let me go first. Hey, I'm the guide here. <laughs> World domination. Where's your pride as a soldier, Sephiroth? Sephiroth, look at you. I want the tiny little Vincent on the big Moogle. This scene, <laughs> this scene's so funny now. 
Look at Sephiroth being a hero. Good job. Like, it can't be that. Look, Sephiroth can just stand in it. There we go. There we go. There he goes. There's, there's Zach, everyone. Bye, Zach. <laughs> Zach, no! Aw, Sephiroth actually seemed distraught about Zach. That wet leather cannot be comfortable. <laughs> Zach, no! He's in Fate's hands now. He's in Fate's hands now. Oliver's board. Do you know the way? <laughs> yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Sorry, I... I don't think I can. I see. Well, we certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. I'll be joining you up front this time. What? For your performance review. You kidding me? Good luck. Good luck. Woo! Sephiroth, join my party! Best timeline ever. If we just stay here, we'll fix all timelines, right? Sephiroth, rate my rock climbing. What, you too cool to rock climb with me? Sephiroth? Sephiroth? Come on. Come on, Sephiroth. He's doing it, he's doing it! What a stupid idiot. He knows he could just jump from there, right? Damn it, I wanted to turn the camera. Is he using one hand to climb? Like, is that what cool guys do? Jump, climb with one arm? Freaking cool. Cool. Okay, so this doesn't help MP. But I'm gonna sit and waste Sephiroth time because it's funny. I mean, I have most of it back. Don't forget to buy potions. <laughs> yeah, can't we? I mean, some might be on sale. Oh, ether. Yeah, I could really use that in this playthrough. I mean, it's on sale. Barbados? Wait. Oh, well, I can enhance it. We could buy all the materia. Play it all over again. I'm excited I can do it. Just taunts you with ether. <laughs> no, I mean, it's on sale though. With red and air. Oh my God, Billy, the line Cloud says, he's like, the hell are you doing, Red? His line read in that part is was so good. It was like, that's the most like uh, emotion I've heard Cloud say. Just break the rock if he uses two heads to lift himself up. He's looking out for the rocks. See, this Sephiroth even likes the planet. He doesn't want to destroy it. He's trying to help rocks, even. Sephiroth! Off you go. Off I go. We're like, off you go. Get him! I want you to Hell's Gate. Whoa! Look at it, he's covering his face. He's like, ugh, I want to be in a menu screen. What was that, Sephiroth? Oh my god, him in the party screen! He's so cool. Now join us forever. This could just be the norm on PC. Oh! <gasps> And it doesn't mean you can control him. See, even if you set somebody as the leader, it just means it switches to them first in combat. The Heartless Angel at Sephiroth. What? What, Heatless? <laughs> this weapon level only one, what a noob. Oh, it is. Wow, Sephiroth. 
I bought stuff for us material. Can I take it? Oh, barrier. Oh, look at you with your re-rays and your two magnifies. Automatically revive allies when they fall in battle. That's so sick. Actually, I wait, I have re-rays. Why don't I why am I not using it? That's only if you have an ATB. Behave if you put them both on a mission, like together, would they get along? We also have revival. Where's your summon materia? So our first materia cannot be changed at present. Whatever. Can I auto upgrade it? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Let's see auto upgrade. Not that there's any abilities. Oh, is there. Actually, I should put a Cess on. Am I missing a whole bunch of intel? I don't know what order. I'm not worried about that right now. I think I have a Cess. We get to see there there's a when you go back to Nibelheim on the mission with uh Yuffie and Tifa, when we look at the spring, he says the same thing Sephiroth says. And it was really creepy. No way around it either. Let's not waste any time. Mako this pick is dangerous. <gasps> yes. Yes, he says he miss. Say, that one felt pretty good. But he says the same thing. And then and then uh Tifa is looking at him like, yo. The game makes it very obvious that it's him that he says what Sephora says, but I knew like this after his first sentence, I was like I know these words. It was really creepy. Oh yeah, that'd be nice, Billy. A Mako spring. It's beautiful. Yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? What are you talking about? Who told you that? My dad. And the mayor, if you must know. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does materia let you cast spells exactly? <laughs> how did you ever get to be a soldier? Yeah, stupid. Mm -hmm. To put it simply, the knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Oh yeah, I'm missing the Tear Garden for sure. Magic sure is weird. <laughs> I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. Or magic for that matter. I can just imagine. Who cares what, what he said? It's an affront to science. Who? Hojo from Research and Development. His predecessor was a great man, but him. Yeah, he sucks, doesn't he? He is anything but. Get his ass. We should press on. Yeah, Hojo, like, literally sucks. He's the worst. <laughs> He's so, such a bad scientist. Hey, John. When we played Remake, finally learning what materia is four years later, Joe. <laughs> so you probably never even thought about it. They're like, oh, it's just magic. Oh, you fixing your hair, Sephiroth? Don't be mean to your dad. No, be mean to your dad. He sucks. Okay, Sephiroth has healing. I'm gonna let him handle it. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna take a cess. Well, I'll have one healing just in case. But I need a cess for the Materia Guardian. Well, Yuffie has one, I'll take the other. That brush is talking about his papa. I'm not ready for the Vincent is his dad theories all over again. It's like, 
It's funny because like now that there's a remake, more like theories keep cycling, and now it's like all the new fans are just like, oh, is he is he Sephiroth? Is Vincent Sephiroth's dad? I bet Vincent Sephiroth's dad. It's like, oh my god, it's 1997 again. Server died in danger of the planet to try and reboot Reborn as a god. Thought you know, Vincent, um, probably a five, you know, dad. I know his like his dad is so much worse. He that would probably break him more. If it's a fight you want, I got this. Gotcha. You're done. Sephiroth. You're in Take the lead. Sephiroth. Hold still. This won't be the last. Dude, he just. <laughs> this game is just like a really wide AoE. This is obviously Grimoire. Oh my god, that would make them brothers. They have the same lips. They do have a very similar face. I think... I don't know. So does Elena and Tifa. What does that mean, huh? Does that mean they're siblings? Look, if he ends up being Vincent's son, then that is what it is. But as of right now, he's not. I really hope he isn't, though. Is that Frost my brother-in-law? I don't know how I feel about that. I was sure Broden was a valentine. I was wrong there. Look, we've all been wrong before. Me especially. But I really just don't want Vincent to be Sephiroth's dad. Cause like, I don't know, I feel like the war, the war looks better if he's... Hojo's, cause he hates him. God, these stupid things even in freaking Sephiroth! They're bothering Sephiroth even! This is my camera. This way. Was that even a theory? Because Vincent and Lucrezia had a fling, so people just assumed they had a baby. And that's why she went to Hojo for them to experiment on him. Or some crap. I don't know. It's, I think it's stupid. <laughs> I wasn't broody before. Luc Luc Lucrezia literally just ruined his life. <laughs> like, actually. Got his dad killed. Uh, broke his heart. Turned him assisted in turning him into a monster. He was fine. He defeated me, Lucrezia. Heads up. Heads up? Yeah, I'll heads up, alright. What are you doing, Sephiroth? I won't let you down. You're in dead hands. Come on. No, Sephiroth! I got this. No, yeah. so, Cloud! I, mean, I meant to punish you through it, but then I didn't. Let's Sephiroth, Hell's you. Gate! Woo! You have a long range? I won't let you You're down. Sephiroth. Me and magic. Get him! You're done. Hold still. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. He's to sleep under trees. Now he sleeps in a coffin. That's uh, a testament to how much he ruined his life. I don't know what is. That was kind of easiest. We haven't even fought a boss yet. We have Sephiroth. I'm sure it'll get way harder. True. Wood coffin, dead trees. Like, I really wonder what they're gonna do with Lucrezia in, in Remake. Cause like, in, in the OG, you don't really know enough about her to figure out what kind of personality she has. But in Dirge, she's freaking insufferable. I don't know, I just started hard mode. It's, it's, it's easy so far, but it's gonna get harder for sure. But she's so insufferable in Dirge. Like, she's actually dumb. And they're, I think they... To me, they, they'll, they'll probably make her something where she's like... Cause like she she sends she sends off her son to be experimented on by Hojo, which is how they get Sephiroth to be the way he is. Um, but I can only re really see, like they were both scientists too, so they were like okay with like experimenting and stuff. But like her own son, like that's kind of fucked up. So I'm thinking they might make her like weak-willed to where she's being manipulated by Hojo, so that people could still like her and actually feel sympathy for her. 
and, and like hate Hojo more that he was able to manipulate somebody like her. But we'll see. Go we'll after flashbacks hard. I feel like Materia Guardian, Guardian might kick my ass. Hey, Sephiroth. Wait, did you leave my party? Not again. Now we're talking. Hey, Zoo. Stand back. Stand back. Not tornado. Wait, have I assessed you? Zephyroth, help! Let's finish this. Brace yourself. Zephyroth, stand Take by. Take the lead. You. Yes. Like nothing? I got this. Oh, come on with your fucking one HP. That's that. Fucking tailspins. <laughs> Verity Bugenhagen. <laughs> Do you think it was actually him? Hojo's my father. Send myself to live stream. Yeah, I would not be happy about that. The Bugenhagen approach room and her two dumb big throw decisions. I, I I honestly think that Lucrezia is too stupid to make her own decisions though. Like that's why that's why I'm feeling like the only way to feel even an ounce of sympathy for her is if she did get manipulated by Hojo. Like there's no other way, because like she's sending her own son to be experimented by uh um with alien cells by this creepy scientist who has no idea what the fuck he's doing because he's a bad scientist. Like, the only way to redeem any part of her is to literally just make her stupid. Because <laughs> then you'd feel bad for her. You're like, oh, oh, sweet summer child getting manipulated like that. But like, her willingly to experiment... Because I think they want you to like her. Because otherwise it'd be like, why would Vincent like her if she's such a bitch? Although it doesn't matter, like we don't have to under we don't have to truly understand why he would like her. We just have to know that they liked each other, or she at least he at least liked her. Um, he's full of issues, also. I mean, that could be the reason. But we'd at least have to not believe that Vincent just likes this horrible, horrible woman. I don't know. They'll they'll figure it out. They always do. He's in a toxicity. Oh, poor Vincent. Hopeless romantic like Sanji, maybe. Now we're talking. Vincent! I mean <laughs> Sephiroth! It's a bug. You don't have to use health to get on everything. You gotta save it for Aerith. Like that's just like a normal move for him. Don't tell Vincent. I'm just- I'm used to yelling at him when I was playing in Gold Saucer. I was trying to lead him. Like, Vincent! Vincent, come here! Vincent! No, I'm doing the same thing with Sephiroth. Oh, I wish I could barrel through them. Sephiroth would think I'm so cool. What are you following me for? I clearly don't know what I'm doing, Sephiroth! Her passion about science, maybe. We'll have to find out. No, I'm I'm sure I'm sure they're gonna have like cute little moments together, like they're flirting and whatnot, and that's probably honestly that like that's that's all we really need to understand. Like, he, he just has to had to have liked her. But if she's a horrible person who's experimenting on her children, then he wouldn't he shouldn't like her. But at, obviously at that point would be like the point of return. It's like the whole point is that he couldn't do anything to stop her and that's why he feels so bad and guilty. But um, in the side quest in this game, 
when Barrett was basically saying like, yeah, Hojo's not so great. I bet that other lady wasn't so great either. And Vincent took that really personally, got defensive. He's like, that's not true. What if they are just leading up to the fact that she's actually not a good person? Vincent just saw the best in her. Don't worry, Sephiroth, I got this. I'm a big, strong man. Does this one not go this way? Do I have to go on the other way? God damn it. I'll have to get that one. Just pull it harder! <laughs> Thanks, Bear, for sharing my reality. That'd be cool, though. I, have, I don't know. I feel like... There's so many, there's so much potential for characters to like help each other out. And if Barrett's the one who helps yeah, Vincent come to terms with the fact that Lucretti wasn't a good person, I think that'd be cool. Cause it's also like, we don't really have those moments in OG. Like, cause they're, they're not like, Vincent was never part of the main story since he was optional. And I think now in like remake trilogy, there's just so much opportunity to make Vincent bond with these people. I'm so excited. Like Barrett uses opportunity with Red. Maybe, but that's how he could become an egg. Didn't have to face his demons in the temple. No, maybe part three. Kretzi's is actually a monster, he just can't bring himself to admit it. Oh, maybe. They really could do so much with Kretzi. Yeah, I'm excited. Am I not supposed to go this way either? This is the dumbest thing. Don't worry, Sephiroth, I got it. Yeah, Sid's backstory. It seems like he's already pretty different. How oh, Vincent got his groove back. <laughs> the wreck of that Hojo kidnapped her or something. Oh, maybe. Oh, that'd be that'd be even more cruel. But then, but then, what if it is Vincent's kid? Because then, if he kidnaps her, then you're bringing in the whole concept of him. You know what to have a child with her and I don't know if Final Fantasy 7's ready for that kind of plot. Yeah. <laughs> they can't handle smoking, okay? They're not gonna be able to handle you know. She'll have to do it willingly. And it, even if that means like he manipulates her. I really think the only way to make her at all likable is to make her stupid. I feel so bad for saying that. It's so unfeminist of me, but I genuinely do believe it. Gus and Cornea are in a sex trafficking, so you never know. That's true. And Hojo's already so scummy. It wouldn't. We wouldn't really be able to hate him more. But, um, it would make Vincent's story way more tragic if he couldn't stop that. Oh, I'm gonna get so sad now. Like Alright, Materia Keeper. I'm ready to get my ass beat by you. Maybe, hopefully not. Because I got Sephiroth here. I gotta protect him. Wait. I protect my Vincent's possible son. Put a bomb in Vincent, like freaking Phantom what? Pain style. <gasps> That is true, Alter. Get back. This way. This way. You said you wanted to be a hero. Wish I had it. Ah, these two. It thinks we're after Materia. Someone should tell her not. <laughs> be my guess. Tell my to tell me not. Try to keep your guard up. Oh, seizing claws, not not do it so great. Rookies. Get me out of here. I'm trying. Hold still. 
Stand back. Ooh. Well, Starfox doesn't have a limit. <laughs> so stupid. On me. He's almost pressured. You're done. It's all you. <laughs> Defense cloud. Defense cloud. Oh, I love his block pose. synergy last time and then it missed. I'll never get over that. It's not a great view. Such a power. <laughs> Thanks so hard. <laughs> Don't stop. It's weird. <laughs> not the trying. I've been trying. Can't my 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 boy Cloud get out of there? <laughs> Wait, I need to. What is it? One. Okay. How do you bar? Um. Oh, I don't have free MP anymore. All right, I'll just heal myself. <laughs> that frost dizzy. Can't go near the Mako. Get your MP up. I mean, it's me. Sephiroth! Damn it. You. Not again. Oh, Get not it again. Watch the gas. <gasps> again. I owe you one. Of course. He's pressured, but I really want to wait. I'm gonna wait. He's fine. Try this. Okay, shit. And double helix. Again. <laughs> like in the fence. Yo, I have my level 3 limit! I haven't seen clouds yet. Oh god, don't die, cloud. Oh god, Sephiroth, heal me. Again, I got this. He's used triple trine or something. Alright, Cloud, don't die while you use finishing touch. I got this. Oh, and he got pressured! I haven't seen this one yet. Nice! Good job, we staggered it, brought it down to 1 HP. I really wanted to try to Hellgate it to death, but... It. 
Oh, my hero, for now. Take it from here. Nice work. God, these two. <laughs> okay, hold up. Maybe I'm missing something here, but everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Well, he was. He was. And now he's pure evil, trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this shit. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. Oh, I will. I will. <laughs> the bonds are forged and fires of battle. You're right, I guess they never will. Don't worry, Barrett, we're getting there. Can you get that limit break? You just have to uh, go in the folios and get the... I, I don't know what level, like, the you wait level here, three unlocks, but you have to get no enough way. SP in folios. I too. Please? Sorry, no civilians. Even if we weren't on a mission. <laughs> Polly. Come on. And Sephiroth complimented me. Lady safe. Carry on. Oh. Sephiroth is a nice guy, which makes it you better keep even more safe. shitty that what happened to him. It is Zach Sephiroth talked to. Zach, he's he's super into Zach. I don't know why it's hitting on clouds so much then. Well, we I know why, but it was such a hard shift. He's like, I I like Zach. I expect it to be all systems go. And then I met Cloud. You'd be running at reduced output, like most last gen models. And let me guess, pillagers don't have a clue about this. Knowing Shinra, of course not. Have been having a normal really to be more transparent. Tell that to the president. What exactly is the problem with this place? The people in charge. While most reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by R&D. Huh. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? Whatever you see here, you are not to speak of it. Oh, I won't. I get it, Sephiroth. What happens between us here stays between us. Oh, thank you for curing. Oh my god, I would do it again. I mean, I could waste MP. His animation. Thank you. I'm so close to him. <laughs> He's so. Just. <laughs> He's so... Takes up so much of the screen. I hope Genesis will never be in any part because he sucks. <sighs> Had his elbow on that Buster sword before I got used to it. Lots of good question. Same. No, no more Genesis. Think you might go after Dead Sonon. Well, that's that's Nero's business. I don't know what is up with Nero in this game. I'd rather I'd have Nero over Genesis. Why? Well, mostly because like we already have Nero, so it's like softened the blow a little bit of him returning. Genesis would be a big surprise. Oh my god, he touched us. Yeah, Genesis Perhaps can stay dead. you'd like to say a few words to your sword first? Yeah, Zack. Do ya? Dude, he knows him so much, because he, like, talks to his sword. He even thinks about that. Sephiroth would have been such a good friend if he didn't... He was, before this all turned. Sephiroth, come on, man. There has to be at least one good Sephiroth in that timeline. There has to be a oh, Sephiroth. Yeah. You are really something. In a timeline where he's just like, you know what? This is a dumb idea. And then he attacks his other multiverse selves. What are those things?
Well, I think it's Strife. I think it's because he gets his memory mixed, so the, some of the stuff Zach experienced, Cloud Genova. also remembers. Wasn't that? Hard mode's not been so bad so far, but we only fought one boss. The valve function must be forcing the pods to depressurize. Cloud, go out and shut off the valve. Copy. Copy. Genesis isn't here because Genesis isn't here. Also, this freaking shot! I spent so much time in photo mode looking at this because it's just so cool. Right, right party. It's so good. That could be any Genova. <laughs> hey there. He's off watching Loveless in VR. He's thinking about I should be taking stuff out here. Yeah, I wish Photomo they just let you take out Cloud or something, not the whole party, at least. This Photomo kind of sucks. Tested Zach's patience because so he's the nicest person ever. He really is, yeah. Getting on Zach's bad side? What have you done? Let's just assume he made it up. Or Zach told him the night when they got back to the inn. They're talking about keep and stuff on the beds. They could do that because they did have seven days with each other. But I, I like to think, since Cloud's memories is just like mixed with Zach's, like he just believes like he was there for it. I'm thinking more so like the Mako poisoning, like when they were in the tanks, you know? Seven days, yeah. <laughs> Going as far back as Kreisko before Nibelheim. Uh, possibly, if he has Genova cells in him. Yes, yeah, up Ross. I do really like this part. This is a heartbeat. See, this is what I wanted. This this is the kind of heartbeat that you experience when you're on the boat from Junon. And like, you know how you fight Genova at the bottom of the ship? In the OG, this is what you hear on the way to the Genova fight. It's just a heartbeat. But they didn't do that in Rebirth. But this is what I wanted. But they probably feel like they couldn't do it again. Because it is really cool here. So if they had to use a heartbeat in one spot, I'm glad they used it to pick, put it here, but still. What are you doing? These pods were built for the production of artificial materia. But Hojo repurposed them as incubators. Fuck the tubes. Cages for animals. Infused with Mako. All to birth a new breed of monster. But he didn't stop at animals. Oh no. There were other subjects. Look. A max level, yeah. The Genova. This is more like Hojo's theme of it. My mother's name was Genova. Could it be? No, Sephiroth! I Zach, say something. Was created the same way. Am I the same as these monsters? Sephiroth. Ever since I was a child, I knew. I knew that I was different, that I was special, but not like this. Come for your boy. Like this. <laughs> Am I even human? Eventually, we went back to the inn. But when we got there, 
Sephiroth locked himself in his room. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Hmm? Hmm? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going. Hmm? doing some heavy lifting yep but the the mutual like they're both confused at each other <laughs> now Sephiroth left my party not on pc he won't he's gonna stay there forever thanks megabug he's zangan i met Sephiroth xander he was heading for shinra manor and he acted like i wasn't even there busy i suppose whatever it's just because your mayor thinks everyone should there there's zangan I think just because you're mayor, people should stop and say hi to you. Haven't heard anything about the reactor either. What happened up there anyway? He's holed up inside the mansion. Something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor. Too much exposure to Mako? Then we ought to bring him some medicine. Look, it's, it's so sad too, because these people are such sims for Sephiroth. They were all willing to help. Like, look at them. They're running like, oh, let's bring him some medicine. Perhaps some soup? I'll bake him a pie. Like, they just want to help, too. And then look what he does to them. I, saw him headed toward the I made up those other ones. But you know they're thinking it. Like, look look at these people. So Hope everything's okay. Shinra Manor was the biggest building in town. And older than the reactor. The company used to conduct I baked you a pie. Back when they were still a I don't know what flavor you like, so I baked one of everything. The that plot was basically what kept the village afloat. Well, here we are. What now? I mean, the whole place is. Let's see, is, is Vincent here? Is he sleeping or something? Oh. Does that mean Vincent brought his own table and everything? A little Mako poisoning isn't gonna hurt a living legend. Vincent brought his own table in Queen's Bloodborne and just sits there and waits. If I had baked him a pie, maybe things would have been different. Maybe they that may have been it. Don't they say like best way to a man's heart is his stomach? Baby, all it took was a pie. Built by his one true love, Zach. That's a shame. Has <laughs> Vincent sleep all night in a coffin? I think he just sleeps in a coffin. See when Seth throws Cloud at the wall. Stack all the furniture. Probably that scene in there. Somebody does all the stuff. I'll just fly around. Wait, you can you can move the furniture? Wait, in the library? <laughs> really? Why would the weight of my heart be in my stomach? I could just order pizzas. Maybe somebody should order ordered Seth for the pizza then. I think you're in love with the pizza place. Pizza place is trying to fall in love with you. They're trying to manipulate you, just like how Hojo manipulated Lucrezia. Oh my God, Jablu, watch look out! Took the place, but Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. See, normally to find Vincent, one of Vincent's code would be like find a piano, be in this room. Oh, Vincent's code! I'm so happy it's the same as the OG game. Anyway, we were wrong about the spiral staircase. We actually can never explore the top floor. The sex appeal. Trade and manipulator with pizzas. <laughs> Seven slices till the end. But what will you do with them? <laughs> Loud. Man, there's a bit of a letdown. Yeah, but you can't explore. We don't even get a spiral staircase. They make you think it's a spiral staircase, and then watch what happens. It's immediately over. It's so mean. I knew it had a basement. It was news to me too. Vincent! I know you're here! Open it up! 
Oh my god, door's locked. Try harder. He could actually help us. See, now that I know he's here, he does everything. <laughs> Bad set. You know you're playing Queen's Blood in there. I'm taking that turbo ether even though I can't use it. Sparrows a little bit. They're like, what more do you want, fellas? Oh, in this part. See, yeah, this is just a room that Cloud and Co. snoop in. I thought, I thought that's where... If you missed my first playthrough, my theory was that the spiral staircase would be from this door because when you go upstairs in the OG game, so like this is where the upstairs balcony would be, you go into one of these rooms and then there's a secret door and that secret door would be here and that's where the spiral is, right? So my my first playthrough prediction was that this is where the spiral would come from, would be this door. And I was thinking maybe you do that in the return of Nibelheim, but that ended up not being the case. I was so wrong. But that it, the layout would have made sense, but instead this is just a, a room. We could still get the staircase in part three. Second floor could be open. There, there's another section of the basement you could reach there. Maybe. But if you get the long staircase, Forgotten Capital either. Yeah, we get nothing in Forgotten Capital. Just a room. I've had to open it seven, seven, seven times. I made the Shinder Mansion boring. Yeah, I, I wish they'd make it. I, I wish, like, the first time was like this, but the second time, like, there was a spiral staircase or something. Like, make it different between five years. Anyway. Okay, we'll probably see it in its full glory with Bugenhagen later. Excavated from a 2,000 year old rock lair, a life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. Yes, he blew it up. Well, we could try. We can see some of it. It'll be in ruins, but Genova. We'll figure it out. Verified as an ancient. Uh, Megl nine thirteen nineteen seventy seven. Genova project approved. So. They named the life form Genova. You're an alien. And once they understood what she was, they grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? Leave me be. And that was it. He stayed holed up in the basement. Reading, reading, like a man possessed. Got Genova. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. And an ancient. So what was he doing for seven days then? Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. Like, why don't they call in a Shinra and be like, yo, problem. Sephiroth's not responding. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ah, Cloud. I've come across the most fascinating passage. Well, he doesn't know Shinra's unhelpful. The specimen found in Strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Pretty creepy, Grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient or a steward of the planet. As they are referred to in legend. But that's wrong. She needed a name. And so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. 
ethereal grace, but it's got a in skeleton face. And resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gas. Wondrous experiment. He created you? why people don't read. Oliver, stop digging. I'm digging for Genova. I should go. Mother is waiting. You can stack stuff there and everything gets blown up. What a cool walk away. How dare you hurt Zach like that though. Vincent, can you wake up please? Do you not hear this right now? I keep asking myself, why couldn't I have come too sooner? If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Oh, Tifa. Or tried. At least. Everybody's using Kahui kind of bowling? I have not. Damn, that was fast. What? It, it's cool how he does ignore Zach, though. Because, like, between that part and, like, him in the flames, like, he sees Zach, he doesn't think to fight him. So maybe he did for a moment, like, consider him a friend, like, he didn't want to hurt Zach. Because, like, even Zach, like, when, when he's like, he created you? Like, he did seem kind of... I don't know. I guess sympathetic to Sephiroth. Like, even he was shocked. Kind of deal. Hey, you. Get in Intel there. carries over. The villagers need your help. Got noise canceling headset. Like, for real, like, why? <laughs> why? Why? Why couldn't he wake up? Did he not hear him? Yeah. Glad Zach kicked his ass and Christ crafted that throw. It's all because of Genesis. So basically this, this village, this town has been doomed to fall out because of Genesis yet again. Yeah, I feel for people playing Crisis Core only and then playing this. It really does spoil a lot. To the goddess. I don't know, some some crap that Genesis reads. Oh, it was him, all right. And he's still here. No. So they're all turning here. on him. Get your head straight. We baked him a pie. a lot of guilt on Zack's shoulders though and like obviously also Cloud because he's thinking Zack that thinking he may have been able to stop him. But I, I do believe he could have done something like it it's weird to me that he let him that like he, he was just reading by himself in a library unattended like people didn't check on him. Remember the pie Sephiroth. Remember the pie. Mom. You know the busted leg I'd be more frantic than this. I would too. I would too, for real. Like, your adrenaline would kick in, even if your leg's broken. You'd be like shambling. That guy is in no hurry. 
You and the photographer. Let's take a look at that photo, Cloud. Zach wasn't being a very supportive partner. Like, not that I'm blaming Zach, but I'm still kind of like... What else did he do? He just waited? Found it quiet today, it must have been the extra. <laughs> Wait, you gonna saw my time? <laughs> Zach for more, that's what I said. He was a fool! I love Zach, but there's definitely a big gap of history there. Like, if he got called, like, if, if, they, if Shin were called them back, he'd be like, okay, everybody but. I almost called him Steve. <laughs> everybody but Steve, Sephiroth. Everybody but Sephiroth has to return back to base, and then maybe Zach's like. You know, Sephiroth still isn't back yet. He still has Shinra Manor, and then he comes in, like, a week later to check on him. Like, that would still be something, but he's just, like, in Evilheim for seven days. Did Steve do this? I have no idea what I call him. It's like four kids version. If FF7 was an anime on the four kids that got four kids dubbed, Sephiroth's too intense for, like, seven-year-olds, so they would just call him Steve. <laughs> Did Steve do this? Look! Cloud! Real Cloud. That's why Sid no longer smokes. <laughs> And then Sephiroth says this in Remake to, to fuck live. with him. You have to live. So mean. Hey! Hey! You know, Bonsai? Ending was alright. You're gonna be okay! Don't worry. I got you. Come on, let's get you up. <laughs> It's like, even now, Sephiroth's deliberately not killing Zack. that he's up the... <laughs> it's a pretty long boss fight. Is this Sephiroth doing this of his own free will? He went crazy. They don't shoot because video game. I think the water burial was done by like Tifa, so we'll probably see it later. Because Cloud doesn't believe Aerith's dead. But everyone else sure does. Oh no, Xander! Yikes. Yeah, no, it was done by Cloud and OG, but. Cloud doesn't think Aerith's dead, so somebody else would have had a barrier. Wait for me. I'm coming. The violin. It's like he completely disregards Zack.
It's the scene. It never gets old. <laughs> it's so cool. The way they're able to linger on his facial expressions a lot longer now makes it even cooler. I followed Sephiroth all the way back to the reactor. Dad and I had gone there to hide. When Sephiroth showed up, Dad decided that he was going to confront him. It was Sephiroth, wasn't it? He did this, didn't he? <laughs> Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! <laughs> If his dad would have had him for sure. Should be dead after this though. Like and falling down a bunch of stairs. So we learn later that somebody from Shinra helicoptered her, her to the Mount Corel doctor. But that would have to been done real fast. Thinking of Cloud. I was in last order, Billy. The promised land. Sephiroth! <laughs> Mother. They have come again. The ones who robbed you of the planet. Your planet. But there's no need to be sad, Mother. Because I'm here for you. Now and forever. Toss that shit aside. You killed my mom. You killed Tifa. My village. 
My home! This is actually cloud. <laughs> Do you know what does look really cool? They were mine by right. This planet too, for I have been chosen. I believed in you. No. Not you! Whoever the hell you are! Cloud, he'll do it. And then what happens? <laughs> By rights. That's the last thing I remember. The rest is a blank. The hell it is! What happened? I know, right, Barrett? It was all over the news. So I knew it. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But then, the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbasses believe that shit. Question. Does that make me a dumbass? Uh, I didn't say that. What I meant was... <laughs> screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. It but doesn't matter what they said back Did then. you believe it, Aerith? Sephiroth was in Midgard. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. Don't know about alive so much as... Around? So true. But He's everywhere. Now. After five years doing who knows what. Oh. Sephiroth's already trying to fuck with him. He wants to finish what he started. Huh? He wants to reclaim his birthright. And rule over the planet with Jenova at his side. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but... It's really bothering me. Well, what's bothering me is all this Genova stuff. <sighs> Excuse me. Guess the travel or something. Really Get her trying to change the subject. Back. Feels as stiff as a board. Let me take a look. <laughs> ah! Wow. You weren't kidding, were you? Let's get you back to the room. Yeah. Let's just call it a night. That's definitely well, Aerith being like, oh, I fake yawn. Tea. Oh, so Tifa, let's. We give our heads a rest. Let's go back to another room. So we can gossip about Cloud's horrible memory. Take the bed. Oh, no, yes! That bed. <laughs> Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Hey, Aerith. You awake? Barely. Why? I was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. Probably did at one point. All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or. Maybe erased? Ah. By whispers? Forgot about this yeah. combo. Maybe that's why. Why what? This is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, 
Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Gossip time. Oh my gosh, this is where we're gonna fumble with Cloud. It's too soon. Cloud, you up? You're right on the bed. I mean, here's a slice bit of evidence of his past. Yeah, no, for people wondering why Tifa didn't tell Cloud up front is because Tifa's just as confused why Cloud knows all this, because he shouldn't. So I think part of her is trying to figure it out. And then part of her can also understand that he's not really all like right in the head in to some regard. So Tif Tifa's Tifa believes she's doing the right thing by letting him basically figure this out himself. Cause like, imagine like you told your mentally unstable friend that they're mentally unstable. They wouldn't handle that well. So they're she's she's doing the thing because Tifa's not confrontational. So she's going about it the best way she thinks she can go. While also trying to figure shit out on her own. Cause like it is weird. Like if you were Tifa, you'd be like, how do you know all this? But you'd want to figure it out. Cloud, you are fucking insane. Did you know that? Right. So my friend is crazy all the time. He doesn't care. Your friend's not Cloud. So <laughs> people like being told they're crazy. Especially in that like Cloud is very sincere and genuine. Like he doesn't. He doesn't know he's wrong. Like, he's not trying to come off as a liar. He's not trying to come off as, like, he, like, like a hero or anything in the past. He just genuinely believes this stuff that he's saying. So, Tifa has a right to, like, wonder why and how, but not want to, like, jump down his throat about it. Okay, yeah, e end of the game where he's horrifying, like, as a freaking, like, a horror villain, I'd be a little more like, Cloud, uh, something's not right here. But as of right now, I don't think he's doing anything wrong. Trying to explain them their memory is wrong, it's the most impossible task. Imagine if someone like your life tried telling you the last five years memories weren't real. Oh, that's rough. Yeah, I, I think, like, I think if you can try to relate. Tifa's concern with, like, real life, you could probably understand a lot more. Yeah. Like, no one no one in Cloud's position or anything similar is gonna want to hear that something's wrong with them. I'm scared of Psycho Killer Cloud. That part where you play as Aerith, like, right after Cloud started being crazy, you're like, Give me, get away from him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> End of the game, Cloud. Yeah. <laughs> He's so scary. All right, yeah, Tifa, let's fumble. Sorry, did I wake you? Nope. What's going nope, on? Nope, I'm good. Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. So where's Broden? Okay, so Broden's not there. Broden's nowhere to be found, right? But now Sephiroth's there. You know that I killed her. So, who is she? Or rather, what is she? Genova, mind your own business. Now there's Broden's there. That's so sick! Yes, Mulvagi, I think it was you, right? You mentioned that. Now he's suddenly there because he becomes a black robe. Because he's already he's already been soldiered, right? So he's got the cells in him. So Sephiroth could or Genova could use him to make the Sephiroth visions. That's a nice touch, because now he's suddenly there. Nice detail. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> it also makes me sad about Broden. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that reminds me of Twin Peaks. Tifa? Sorry for what I'm about to say. Oliver! Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway... There's something I need to ask you, too. <laughs> Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <gasps> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? I feel like that's kind of a leap from Tifa. Like he could have just been like I'm having this conversation. With thought I lost you, but here we are. Here, look. My scar. That proof enough? After you left, Zongon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Okay, so he just him though. There's the doctor who operated on me. So he carried her to wherever. So, okay, so because, all right, it, it, it's making sense now. Because I assume Shinra just came in and fixed her, but I forgot the Zangan part. So it makes sense because Shinra came in to cover up the, the village being set on fire by Sephiroth. So they probably heard about that real fast. So they came in fast to try to cover shit up. And then meanwhile, Zangan ran to her or ran her to possibly Shinra, and then they airlifted her to a doctor. Got it. And the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? See, look. Five years. The one time Tifa mentions this to Cloud. You know I can't tell you that. These are his responses, so that's why she doesn't keep bringing it up. Of course you can't. So it's not like she hasn't- it's not like she hasn't tried to figure stuff from Cloud. It's just every time she does, this is what happens. Sorry, I just need some space. Welcome, Hardwood. It's his response because he doesn't remember generally. I think he, I, yes, like, I think, I think his response is partially a front, but also partially because he probably has, like, some made-up memories of, like, soldier or whatnot. That he's trying to, like, fill in the gaps himself. He's being a cop. He's been in a tank not making any memories for years. Yeah, but I, but I think him being in the tank, it's like, like, if you asked him what he did, like, a year ago, he might have his little, like, uh, his, his little moments where, where he has like the headache type of thing and then just uh um deflect the question but i also think there there may be some like fill filled in memories that he's had because of the mako poisoning because like he still remembers like all the stuff zach went through for soldier training like he remembers like the ration food as well and stuff from the military like he he talks about that fondly as if he got used to it and like, Cloud wasn't a Shinra soldier for very long, but Zack was a soldier for a while, so he has all those memories. He probably like fills in the gaps with, with, with what he has. She doesn't want to push, that's why I love later when you remember Zack, she's like, you're so close to remembering Cloud. Yes! <laughs> no, she doesn't say it, but she's like, if she looks like it, she's like, why can't you remember? Cloud a Shinra soldier? He was just a beacon. He was a Shinra soldier. In the flashback, he's one of the the troopers that is with Zack. I thought we could just pick up where we left off. Like nothing had changed. Like he wasn't capital I I capital was soldier, he was just a soldier. I 
can't with this line. Guess so. Tifa, don't break my heart again. I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. No! It hurts so bad. <laughs> it hurts. Tifa, I'm sorry. I'll tell you anything I anything you want. I'll remember anything you want for for you. Barrett, I fucked up. You two fight. No. No. We have enough problems as it is. Copy. Night. Tomorrow is another day. Oh, wise red. Humans. Yay, come to chapter one on hard. We did it. That's not so bad. Imagine every chapter is that easy. All right, 13 more to go. <laughs> Trophies do I have left? I have no idea. I have not looked at them. I know they're going to be a lot like all the hard mode mini games and stuff. HP and MP full restored. Okay. So beginning of every chapter, HP and MP restores, and then the chocobo benches restore. I think we got this. The hardest part was just finding proper strats. What's this? A gift from our humble establishment. Oh yeah, my queen's blood gift. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those. I forgot need. we got it on a door lock. Queen's blood. Queen's blood. What's that, Cloud? It's gonna be your newest obsession, I promise. <laughs> Vincent gifted those. Ah, <laughs> oh, Vincent, thank you. <laughs> when trophy involves doing literally every single thing in the game, yeah, it's gonna suck. I like to think, I like to think it was Vincent. The turtles on hard. Think of the health on them on hard mode. Oh god, they're already so tanky. Of I hate. This is only the most recent. I hate the enemies that are like. Oh, they're only weak in the face, and they're always turning away from you. They're like the four-legged lizard. See, we're hearing the same thing. We're hearing the same thing. Parallel. Parallel Wutai. Hey, Broden, glad to see you're alive. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden. I'm the owner so of sorry city. you're not a Valentine. Your companions have all stepped out. Me, he could still oh, be. But Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. Cousin you Vincent. Call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Some Didn't this should attack the other world then? Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, Dude Cloud, did move a lot. Do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm, and their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. Pull off those armbands? Armbands. Oh, on him. What the fuck, Broden? Why have I never noticed those? I don't know, Alter, could you? <laughs> I don't think anybody should be wearing those armbands. It shows the sky is where the robes is crazy. I know, right? There's so many side quests in this game that are, like, required reading. Sorry, Broden. I know you're sick and all, but now you have to pick these up. Do, 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 do. Finally. Yes, friend. Rough day yesterday, huh? Look at our dog greeting us. I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, Aww. trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Yay! 
That's three years in the making right there. Oh my god, imagine when we get to see Vincent Valentine and said hi to him join the party. If you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at Three years? Sure thing. Hmm. Oh, looks got a backbone. He's just gonna be. I'm joining. That's it. I love this song so much. Do you mind checking my equipment? Oh my god, you didn't even have to ask, Vincent. No, I'd hate to do a side widget. It's gotta be full screen. Vincent Valentine joined the party. Take me back to being first let loose on this tower over the moon. I was too. Like, I spent so much time just like walking. The fact that they turned Calm into something like this is nuts. Like, Calm is just such a nothing town, but it's it's like the biggest <laughs> little village in this game. It reminds me of Alexandria a bit, now that I think about it. Oh my god, just think of FF9's Alexandria like this. Yeah, Calm is like six buildings, like two screens. They went for three full songs. Damn, I didn't even sit there that long. I saw Wesley for the first time. <laughs> oh, he had five. <laughs> He's so funny on five, Bozon. <laughs> He's pretty cool. A lot of OG was nothing. Yes, this call. I think Calm's like the biggest glow up, though. Hey, it still retains. Hi, Tifa. <sighs> Sorry about last night. Morning. 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 Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Oh, it shows you. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. It shows you what the best one is. Or like, at least maybe what you picked last time and tells you the amount of stars. So you could like listen to the other dialogue if you want. Oh, that's cool. I do have star shower. I have all of her moves. That is neat, because I'm definitely I'm definitely gonna pick it. Yeah, the one that's grayed out shows the one that you picked. And it shows the stars. I'll definitely pick other options to see what she says, but Okay, no, I after this I have to show you I something. You. In case you didn't you see me beating the game the other day. It was one of my favorites. Yeah, it was blue. Uh, the light blue one? With a bit of green in there? Yeah. Got to you for a date, you try to get hers. No, I was trying to get hers. I purposely stopped doing quests for other people just to make sure I got Tifa. So like, when you beat the game, the game gives you a play log. Look at my relationship with Tifa, 99%. I literally got one conversation thing slightly wrong. But other than that, that was all organic. I didn't look up a guy, nothing. I just know Tifa that well. My girl right there. And I know exactly which one I got wrong. It's when you're in the in and Junon. Cause she tests you, and I, f I failed her test. But then Aerith is 82. I'm gonna get these. I'm gonna fill these all out. Ah, look at all the ones that I got with red, except for the feet. I didn't do all the synergy with him. Story be- oh, yeah, I will be. I know what Cloud would say. Maybe I'm more like Cloud than I thought. Get the one in Nibelheim wrong. Womp womp. Picker and Costa del Sol either. Sorry, Aerith. <laughs> the Corel minecart route. I didn't even see that was an option. <laughs> but it must be fate. Oh, that's the right one. I just I just happened to get it right. God, look at all these non-check marks. Getting the plat in this game is gonna ruin my life. Pro prison buggy escape. There's a pro Barrett thing there, possibly? Probably boosted synergy set, yeah. Like, I wasn't even trying to get all these. I didn't even know this play log was gonna exist. I just happened to do everything for- Uh, okay. I- I need to fill all these out, and then... Um... I- I got all the- we watched the Skywheel dates, but then we reloaded, we didn't save it, so... I have to do those again. Maybe the buggy took too much damage. Oh, yes, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good call. I forgot. That was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I love all of their dates. They're so sweet. Yuffie one was actually way more adorable than I thought it was gonna be. She's got a little crush on Cloud. <laughs> Cute. And this is how she had a crush on Zack. The buggy escapes from the remark after which I assume- Yeah, it's kind of like the Jesse motorcycle part. I don't know, I liked all their dates. They were great. I just- I love Cloud and Barrett just being buds. Obviously I'm in love with Tifa. The Earth ones are really sweet. The red one was adorable, he's just like a little dog. The Tifa one was so cute. You know how slow the Amy is in the buggy part? Yeah, it's like Barrett, he can kick it up a bit. Telling him about his wife. I know, like Barrett actually opening up to his new friend. Incredible. Yeah, he's just a dork. All the dates are canon as far as I'm concerned. It, Red being that excited for the Skywo just makes me want to, like, take him for that again. She's late. Too late. Or am I here too early? Was getting here a day Be more direct with his feelings is great. I know I'm mentioning Myrna. Okay, let's pick the right options for everyone. Because I don't know... Red's in the front. We picked good boy last time. Was that the right choice? I take it our equipment is in order. What are you doing here anyway? Standing watch. One can never be too careful with Shinra. <laughs> That's a one star. I knew I could count. So good boy's you. bad. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. You stupid jerk. <laughs> you freaking Leave chopper. This to me. Yeah, I picked good boy because it was I, I had to because I physically said good boy before the dialogue even came up, so when I saw Good Boy was an option, I was just like, well, I have to pick it, but I guess that's his worst one. Makes sense, because he doesn't like being treated like a dog. Sorry. Sorry, Red. Her 14 hours. That's around the time that I beat it, too. It is, what a game indeed. I just don't know Red. Look, I didn't want to pick that. I didn't think he would like it, but I, I had to because I said it. But you're right. I, I don't know. I don't know Red the way you do. I'm sorry. Where's Barrett? Oh, he's in the bar part. I, I'm pretty sure I got his already, right? I thought Calm was some hick town. <laughs> it, well, it used to be. I think 25 years ago. Dang. Okay, Barrett's over there. Feels weird because I don't have that big of a party right now. I just have to find Barrett, Aerith, Tifa, and Red. Rufus! <gasps> on his deathbed. Oh! So they're saying they're saying he's on his deathbed and he's sick? No, Shinra got stabbed. I'm pretty sure I got his good option already. I did get the first one! First one's on me! I have to say, I have to pick the me, same okay. option. Now that's what I'm talking about. Gotta remember to order some top shelf stuff in that case. Oh, I just love that so much. He came down with a bad case of Masamune. <laughs> I can't just say that. Only dumbasses believe that, yeah. I like it, that, that's... This kind of stuff's great. Like the in-universe, uh, radio stations. First of me is great. I am not a good boy. Look at him smiling in that emo. He is a good boy. Or was Aerith. We don't have to spend all that time here. Because we already did in the first place. This is the hard one. This is like, uh -huh. Finally this is like our victory lap. Yeah. Unless the game gets really so hard and then doing? it's not a victory lap. Why? Waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? If I have sure. to. Let's. For real? It's so mean. Awesome. I can't be Since mean to them. I, I like these characters too much to be mean to them, even I'll for the sake of other dialogue. Okay? Sorry, I can't do it. I mean, fine. 
It's unreal how connected I am to these characters. That's such a strength of this game for real. Because like even if you love FF7, like OG, like the way they can flesh out these characters like beyond how much you already love them in OG, like they did such a good job. Like I, the characterization in this game is definitely a highlight. Like that in the gameplay, for, and music being triple S tier. Some of the story changes and the ending and all that, that's that's more like in the sums S tier, sums not so S tier, you know, that that's all kind of muddled in the tier list, but like characters, music, gameplay. Yeah, those are the best. Hey buddy. What'll it be? I don't really want to do anything right now. Have a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't buy anything from him. Have a good one. <laughs> um, alright. The, the, the date. Oh, they're trying to keep up with the news. <laughs> I know! Oh my god, I love Leslie's quest. I was really hopeful that it would be it, been it, but I guess we'll see you in part three. I'm such a shoplifter. Putting the S and not so S tier. There's S tier and then not so S tier. I'm glad, Faye. Yeah, it's like when you play the OG, it's just like you feel like you know these characters for like 25 years and stuff. So it's kind of like it's like you're you're when you're a kid and you have these characters to bond with, it's kind of like you come up with like your own connection to them, you know, like your own like you put. You make your own fan fiction in your head, basically, and it's just in your head. It's just how you view the characters. So that's like when you actually see them fleshed out, it's like freaking next level. But Max isn't the only FF7 Giga brain. I think people have the ending figured out, but already, like, because everyone, like, I feel like the way I'm interpreting it, like, I'm pretty solid on like my interpretation of it, and it seems like a lot of people agree. This is what I was, I've been seeing on Twitter. Everyone, when you were a kid, you were, everyone was writing fan fiction in their head, whether it was intentional or not. We got a great selection here, you know. You did it. You be careful out there. That freaking was like a plastic mess. Is he though? <laughs> I feel like. I don't know, it's like, he's not the only one. He's not the only one theorizing. People act like he's the only person that plays this game or something. Cloud! Over here! I think Zack is in the main timeline. I think this is enough evidence. He invented it. Man, we all wish we invented FF7. I was explaining the ending as it was happening. <laughs> it's weird how I called some stuff. How do I feel about that? Does that mean, like, would I write this stuff? This kind of stuff, if I could? And then, and then Sephiroth makes this fake date. My, that's my favorite theory that ended up not being right. Hi, Earth. No, I know. I love Max, too. He's 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 I a great person. This away. But he's Should definitely... Be, yeah. People act like he's the only FF7 fan. <laughs> Like, that was getting kind of annoying in, like, my playthrough. Because, like, when I was beating the game and we were talking about the ending, people were like, I can't wait for Max's opinion on this. Funny and I'm like, yeah, that's gonna be really exciting, but that doesn't feel good for me as a streamer. Like, oh, we don't care about your opinion, we only care about Max's. It's like, yeah, it was, it was getting kind of mean. That's why I kind of stopped looking at chat. I'm like, alright, well. I guess no one cares about my opinion. Roommates, you know. Roommates. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. Aww. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, I, I wasn't- I'm not trying to fish for sympathy or anything. It just- it didn't feel good at the time, but it's okay. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Yeah, that too, Orlock. <laughs> You're being really subtle with their spoilers, so I'm like, I'm not even gonna look. Just for 
Hey Shinra. No. I guess like the button was to like resist, but I didn't press the button and he still resisted stabbing her. There's no way to do it quickly, I guess. Yeah, because I thought the buttons meant stab her, so I'm like, I don't want to do it. But apparently it was the opposite, but he still didn't do it right away. They're looking for us, aren't they? Gotta be. You know, see, I'm glad you're a good source of information theory as well as our own stat. Yeah, thank you. I'm I'm glad that I can be a source of FF7 stuff. Because it does mean a lot to me. I really love this game. A lot more inside the many other streamers. Oh stop, thank you. <laughs> Wait till I play FF9 and I will tell you, I will be like, fun fact about everything. Structure's unclear, stab one of my best friends. Oops. Tapping it makes him put the sword down. Okay, he just like holds it back. For like ever. Does she let you press the buttons? Nah, she dies either way. There's rumors of FF9 remake, but nothing yet. But anyway, we're not talking about nine. We're talking about seven, and seven's great. Oh, thanks, Nivis. <laughs> so much we can talk about now. I, it's kind of nice that a lot of people have beaten in the game already, because we can actually talk about more. Oh, your first playthrough of nine? Hell yeah, mine's my favorite. <laughs> Matt Mercer, Amaranth. Great, they're gonna make me like Amaranth. Great. Rodan, help! There isn't much time. We need to get back to the end. But... Don't worry about your friends. They're safe. Trust me. No violence. Please. This town suffered enough. The clown? You mean a chicken? Come on. Thanks, Broden. He's being such a bro. Cloud needs to stop killing for a moment. There's a time and place, Cloud. You'll be doing a whole Down bunch here. of killing well, when you're crazy. Part three. You. Seen anyone acting suspicious? I heard about the reactor bombings in Midgar. That was you, wasn't it? Why are you making it's that okay. assumption? I'm on your side. I've got a contact at HQ. You were with Avalanche? Not exactly. Who could his contact at HQ be? Is it Reeve? Stop. I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. I forgot have they said? I forgot he mentioned that. Hmm. That's because that's when I thought I'm like, he's definitely a Valentine. He has Oh oops. He's got an in with. Right, yeah, because he's got an in with Vincent. If he's if he can get into their security. But it's not Vincent. May I ask what's going on? We're searching for some fugitives. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Well that you mentioned. I think I might have. Though perhaps it was just my imagination. Mayor is the best. Get out of here. Wait, wait. I know I saw some people who had a fugitive air about would, Guys, would you say you have a fugitive air about you? Annoy someone else. Stop wasting our time. Because I know I do. There's a person I, the store I go into who definitely thinks I'm stealing. Because I never buy anything. <laughs> Can get you to admit that. Look, I admitted it. You're in safe hands here. They turn up yet? No, but we're still searching buildings. We'll search harder. We gotta find them. Just put a deodorant. Hardcore game. If you think about it, Reeve. Oh, a hardcore gamer. He's stop. You're making it really obvious, Broden. He's like, haha, Shinra, over here, guys. Stupid wave. Nah, they're... Rebirth isn't 
selling as much as they want, they said. But Square Enix always has, like, absurdly high expectations. And, like, this is a PS5-only game. So don't worry, their, their sales will freaking double on PC. Best Buy and Play, check some of the storage of Pack Pack, let's check out DVDs. Were they sailing? Yeah, also a direct sequel. But that's really it. They always just expect way too much. Like, I think... I think they had some absurd amount for, like, Tomb Raider, even. I didn't look at the sales. I don't know what they are, but it's, I know Square Enix said that they, this game doesn't so sell as much as their expectations, but they always just... they're insane. Equivalent Air Italian Part 3 is the Cloud Zack switcheroo. Oh, like rumor or not rumor? Um, story. I think the Zack Cloud reveals way more of a twist than Aerith dying. Broden, your chairs! Down below, waiting for you. Yeah, like it's, it's usually a shareholder. The tunnel seen. in the basement will take you outside of town. Leave now, and they won't catch you. Head to the east. A friend of mine runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. Broden, who's your contact? Take this. It's a transmuter. Converts raw materials into more practical Thank items. Thank you. A Republican. Fuck shareholders. But it still works. They really are never satisfied. Y'all should play You'll get more Yakuza 7 slash Like a Dragon, because there's like a business management minigame. <laughs> and uh, you can argue with shareholders, and that's probably what it feels like. But in Yakuza 7, you, just turned us in. you can use a chicken to argue with the shareholder me meeting people. Yeah. This town and I have a history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision. <gasps> I've ever no, made. no, it's sad knowing so his fate. Change my mind. You better get going. Broden, you did a really good deed. No, bro. He did a really good deed before he got all robed. I love you, Broden. You could have been a future Valentine or possible Valentine. It is really sad. There's a side quest where he turns into a robed guy, by the way, if you see anyone seen it yet. It's really sad, but it's a side quest. Where Broden gets robed. More like Robin. <laughs> he leaves, like clutching his chest. No! A haunted hotel on the wall? What? Oh, is it? I don't know what that is. It's called Broden without robe. It's in his name. <laughs> Batman and Robin. <laughs> he's not fine, Alta. Don't lie to me like that. He looks so much like a Valentine. He could have been a Valentine and he's just a Robin time. I'm getting out of here. I'm too sad. I really like him. Oh, hey, my friends are here. Oh, you made it. All in one piece? She doesn't hate us. For the love of... Where the hell have you two been? On a date. Kind of. What? I can explain. Uh. Well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. Oh, Tifa. <laughs> Got that? Uh, oh. <laughs> now, let's move. Why can you not call him a good boy even if it's wrong? Aerith stirring shit is funny. Because, yeah, Cloud and Tifa also have to spit it out. It's okay, I'll go last. Don't worry. Those Tifa Where likes Cloud make her jealous. Where there's a draft. This She's way. stirring shit because it's funny. Looks like a job for me. Aerith can like Cloud too. 
But the important thing is that they're not turning this into a love triangle. They're like a ta-ta cloud. <laughs> they're not turning into a love triangle because even Aerith and Tifa are really good friends. That's what I love. The good boy. We let him know by showing him respect. Very true. Tifa being self-aware that she's like a people pleaser is is really nice because that's how people pleasers are though. Like I know a couple. Like my best friend is absolutely like a Tifa type. She's such a people pleaser, and she knows that it sucks, but there's nothing she can do about it. And I I, I totally understand it. It's like, like, yeah, I get it. And it's frustrating on my end, where it's just like, you don't have to please everyone all the time. Which, I mean, it's kind of a hypocrite suit, because I, I, I'm also a bit of a people pleaser. Not on her level, though. Like, <laughs> she asked me, was just like, how to say no to something, and I'm just like, just say no. <laughs> like, it's easy for me to say it. It's literally like, oh my god, it's so pretty. Like, it's literally just like, when it. people are like, how do I beat a boss? It's so just like, just do it, forehead. It's so green, Aerith! She can't believe all the green! Just say no, forehead. A living, breathing planet! Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. Yes! It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. I guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Start walking. Left, you left, you left, right. It's the wrong way, Zoro. We won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. Let's go. Aww, look at this shot! <laughs> and there it was! The first step on our new journey. You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. Right? He's so wise. He's putting up the act really well. Alright, let's get this show on the road, people. Aww. <laughs> it's still almost like so unbelievable, even on the second playthrough. <laughs> now they're all looking at you like well, leader. I definitely feel like Aerith. Oh god. Er Aerith's reaction to this is probably like the most uh like stunning because like everyone's experienced life outside of the slums and outside of labs and Midgar and all that except for her so she's just like her being all like look how green it is it's almost like even the like the players are reflecting on that it's, just, it's like literally we are like oh my god it's so big and open <laughs> the whole beginning part of the game and multiple playthroughs that I watched oh really that's the beginning all right be, I wish she would be rolling in that grass. Looks like like when you're a kid, you roll down a hill. She should just find a hill and roll down in it. We could teach her how to be like a kid. Yeah, Zack New Gungaga. Think how cool Tifa would look if she took Arrow's jacket as a memento in part three. <laughs> Takes her clothes. Probably, probably modded each other in those clothes. How do you be a kid? Yeah, do you roll down the. The grass. <laughs> All right, can we can we call it Chocobo or is it too soon? We're a new game plus. We probably can because we have to do the, the the main quest of getting a Chocobo first. What's um? How many manuscripts are in this? One. Okay. Multiple green biomes and they're unique. Yeah, it's so varied. Like you really can tell, like not 
Everything's been like carefully crafted, it's not just copy pasted. Where's our chocobo? And the music here! Oh my god. So special. I know I could just fast travel, but it just feels nice to actually be able to walk here. Why is this here? <laughs> what? That pin from first place is here. It's so pretty. Yeah, the music's so varied. Oh my god, when I heard Hollow, like, over here, like, every time we walked over- I mean, we could go there, it's right around the corner. I was just- yeah, just hearing Hollow there, it hit me. Yeah, then transitioning to battle music Hollow. <laughs> Oh, the excavation jam is a surprise, <laughs> yeah. So funky. Gengaga's music. It is, yeah, like every every overworld theme does have a very particular vibe. Like the Gengaga one is like the most random, I think. Um, let's still hear Hollow real quick. So let me guess, Midgard, Stormer, or they call him in this, the Zalem? Does he have the manuscript? If there's only one. Town still crawling with troops. We should keep our distance for now. Yeah. But I want to hear Hollow. We get going. This kind of feels like our fault. No! Column's under lockdown. I want to hear Hollow. Oh, it's not even fast travels are ungrade. Okay. You're gonna the same music with, with uh, the Crisis Core music. What's this name? Okay, wait. So yeah, we have to get the ch the cutscene and then we can get the chocobo. No sign of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across, then. Head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Juna. Sure. Why not? You'd trust these rotting hulks? I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe we swim it. <laughs> this swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> Man, well, it took me 13 hours to get here in my first birds? play. Can we? Can we? Because of 100% in Grasslands intel. Fine. And now it's been like three hours. <laughs> Fine! Knowing they'd have to rent a chocobo from him. I know how how freaking smart. That's how business is done. Swallowing your primary is insane. Dude, the fight, because like in the OG, Midgar's all well, well. optional. If it ain't my favorite group um, of hitchhikers. Like it's not the correct way. Like here. you're not Thanks supposed again, to fight him. Uh, but if you do, that's what he does. He like gets rid of your party members. So I'm really glad that the fight reflected that. I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Bill, you looks like such a hippie. I love it. Anywho, what can I do you for? He's definitely like an old rocker hippie. Are we ever like this guy? <laughs> this guy's got stories. Back in the day, we had Republic Back in the fairies day. to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. American pickers. <laughs> we got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? 
<laughs> Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. That's the yeah, wow. that's what but I'm getting at. You don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo. Nature's two-legged limousine. So, can we rent some? Sure can. My like he's got Bill stories from Woodstock or something yonder. for sure. He'll help you out. Yeah, I don't I don't want to think about why he's got a whip. I think he's just crazy. That's for Billy. <laughs> Whips Billy into shape. God, why is your music so loud, kid? All right, let's go talk to Billy. I really like Billy's uh, sub quest, too. Finding out the truth about Sam. Did you finish that one, Howdy. Billy? Chat, it's Billy. Outside. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. Yeah, I'm sorry, pops. Yeah. But you're out of luck. Pops. Not yet. No more birds. Pops. Oh, yeah. I morning. love that reaction. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list for a price, of course. Which is ten grand each. Ten. Is, we don't have that kind of money, or any really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Uh, is what a scoundrel might say, but I wouldn't keeps dream of distressing you all further. Just so happens one of our birds. Oh, I have so much money, Luke. I am One lying thing, to this kid. But still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. <laughs> and he's the spitting <laughs> image of Pops here. You can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. I love now, the cloud well, chocobo the jokes. <laughs> they get me every time. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. I hope it happens so more. You you need. <laughs> Kids are born businessmen. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, Riding and rearing lessons are on me. <laughs> oh, just fluke! <laughs> Sephiroth swore off chocobos because he already found the perfect one and he let it go. <laughs> oh, damn it, Chloe! Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but... He's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <sighs> Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was... I was ready to dish it all out. Reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. Good they folks. Get help. Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh, take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if I'm anything broke, catches lady. your eye... <laughs> she also, know that I'm not if you broke. have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Yeah, I also... I, it took me a couple days to finally decide to go through hard mode. Susie Inc. Oh yeah. Also, Nathan, that you were becoming a member on YouTube like an hour ago. <laughs> uh, so many blonde birdies that look like Cloud. 
Look at that guy in Styles' hair. Too much oh, if look who spoiled the raid. Feel free to use the look who spoiled the raid. Hi, Susie. Hi, Raiders. We're on New Game Plus hard mode, and it's been fun so far. I was already too. Can I transmute some stuff? Hi. <laughs> Tifa's just knocking stuff over. Oh my god, Tifa! Tifa! <laughs> Fixed camera mod. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that got released. Is it great? Wait, what's up here? Same as I was losing my mind the whole time. Oh my god, I can't wait to play it. Maybe after hard mode, I'll finally do it. Did you- you beat it, I assume? Did they change anything? Like, is it just, like, the same game? Like, they didn't try to throw in their secret super hard bosses or anything? Like, other mods? <laughs> that sounds so cool, though. One day. One day! I feel so overwhelmed, because there's so much I want to do. <gasps> Pico, not Pico. Let's try looking for some Let's do it because he had to go to work. I see. So let's... So, oh my god, R RPD. Fixed camera, though. Yeah, you wouldn't want to rush that. Yeah, I am in chapter two. That's like, I don't know, it feels like I've been streaming way longer, but I haven't. But it's, uh... Hold on, can I fast travel there? To find the track. Pico? It's over here, right? There he is. Hey, Resident Evil, is it your job? Susie's got Bingo. real stuff to do. Yeah! Come on, y'all! Let's the go! The insane back. yellow flowers in front of him is so bright. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. <laughs> prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Figure yeah. speech. You want to catch us a chocoburr? <laughs> That's right, turn around. Hey, turn around. Oh god, hurry. <laughs> got you. We got the chocobur. Pico. Good bird. Such such stealthy rolls. At least it's not Vincent. Oh my god, Vincent walking is so noisy. Imagine Vincent trying to stealth behind a chocobo. So, section was your least favorite? The one with the minecarts. Aww, isn't he just the cutest? <laughs> oh. He's so thug. <laughs> you know, they are kind of similar. Totally. <laughs> they really are, though. <laughs> what does he want now? Do you think... Maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. Yeah, this is the hip hop oh. day chocobo. Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. We were supposed to ride it there. Pico! Pico! He has hair like that. I like to think he like wakes up like this. Like, this is his version of bedhead and he just rolls with it. Pico! <laughs> Sid saying it. Yeah, I like the minecart ones. Because the one was really unclear. Just like, what, well, I'm supposed to just push into the next checkpoint? And then just go from there?
Chadley, so music doesn't concern you. People. I miss Peepo. Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all That's what I wish his name was Peepo. Pico's a really cute name, but Peepo's funnier. I don't mind the B one too much. I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. Peepo Bo. I wish you could skip this on replay. Like, kid, I'm already an expert, okay? I am I beat the Oopa in Chocobo Racing. I don't need to have a tutorial on how to control a Chocobo. Please. Can I reissue a VB Action All 9 remake for her? They've been reissuing that for like a couple of years. I don't even really count. Mer Merch is usually very independent the from the actual what product. Races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're gold a saucers. big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here. I love the gold compete. saucer. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on the Gungaga reactor's great. I think Upper Junon is a highlight. Gold saucer. All right, what do you want me to do, kid? Okay. Child. But how's about we stretch his legs a bit? Sir, I am an expert. Look, completed. Look, I don't need to prove nothing to you. Participate? No. I'll be here when you. I have to do it, child. Do you not see my you scores? Well, no, I'm not going to beat my own high score because I talked all kinds of shit and I'm going to fail this miserably. I'm mostly just worried about hitting it. Because hitting it stops you, but you have to be close, but not too close, so you're going to hit it like that. And then if you stray too far away from it, you fail like that. You see what I mean? <laughs> Left our trophies at Johnny so that we have no proof that we've done this. <laughs> Who designed this course? Hey, Upa, you watching? Oh, I almost... I almost went under 30 seconds entirely. Her voice is Vincent. It's Matt Mercer, and he does a great Matt Mercer impression. <laughs> I love his Vincent. That was something else. You and Pico are a perfect I match. Think, I think it's Might the best what it takes to win a race Vincent so far. Best Vincent out enough, of two. Sally. Oh, with the concierge at the hotel. You mentioned your flat broke, right? You'd be playing then you might at the want hotel. to calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for best he's ever sounded. I know. No, don't so run good. off just yet. I can't wait for his turf voice to just sound like law. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since mom left. They did dang near everything together. Most unrecognizable. I disagree. I think he sounds very on. much like that person. True, but moving on. But I think that's just by how varied he is, like voicing other we people. Had fun helping people in Sector Five. And then right? he has his like more natural sounding voice, like Vincent and Law and Leon and stuff like that. Air said your name. You're so lucky, Billy. <sighs> Vincent, say bye, dude. Killed it as Vincent. Killed it. He did. I can't wait for that. I can't wait to hear so much more. Um, okay, we can cross over now. I hate when I accidentally zoom out. I'll look at the five out of five quests. Okay, I have to fight Midgar Sormer. Talk to Billy in part three and say your name. God, I'd be so jealous. I'd legally change my name to Billy. I'm gonna legally change my name to whatever Vincent says in part three. It's gonna be Lucrezia. I hate that. I want my name to be Lucrezia. Okay, I don't know if I'm ready for Midgar Swarmer. 
Barrett, Tifa, Barrett, what do you, what material do you have? Wait a minute. Wait, can I not bring Yuffie out? I thought we could... Well, I thought we could use any party member we wanted. Like Yuffie. Aw, oh, man. Well, what am I gonna do? Yuffie's my backup player. <laughs> it's just like, when in doubt, use Yuffie. Um, I could probably bring Red out. It's all over. <laughs> nah, R Barrett, let's see. What's- what's Midgar? Oh god, well I can switch out Cloud. Oh, I don't know, wait, oh god. Let me do that. Okay, we're back. <laughs> it's out. Star of the Grass says that I'm gonna fight Midgar Stormer. I know! It like four hours in! Um... Enemy intel. Can I see that? Not here. Is this not an order? How is this not in like alphabetical order? Let me in part three. You can just play as Vincent all the time. Do game plus. Maybe I don't have him. Bosses are mostly near the bottom. Oh yeah, here he is. Ooh. <gasps> No! I didn't- Ooh, he's so cool! I love his idol animation so much. I didn't- I didn't just intel him. Not pretty, but the Turks unit of Shinra General Affairs he's recovered from his injuries he suffered during Sector 7 plate collapse operation. Allowing him to return to the field, using lightning quick movements, he toys with his opponent while fighting in perfect sync with his partner Rude. Perfect sync with his partner Rude, look at that. Hi Rito. I love his- I love all their designs in this. Look, here's his partner. Damn! I need to do the Sephiroth scans too. Wait, is there suit more blue? It's just the lighting. What's more blue? Whatever, Sung. <laughs> You're so lucky you finally got a boss fight. I didn't even scan him! His dumbass pants. I'm scanning those last night was just coming up, no data. Aww. The new president of Shinra. Look at him! Oh my god, he's he's so so mobile. Dude, it's <laughs> so. Got a. Oh my god, his hair turned. It, it fades into red. He's so mobile. Relax, he's freaking me out. Med medic man who sleeps in a coffin shot a mystery aside from his alleged profession. <laughs> alleged profession! <laughs> of security guard. He has transformed a creature of chaos and effort to ward off intruders. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah, Rufus and Vincent. It's my hair, it's my dinus. His clothes morphed into his skin. I know, it's interesting. I wonder, like, even his freaking gauntlets and his tail, I don't know what that's about. Oh, his tail's an axe on it. Oh, that's so cool! No! Oh my god, he brought the wall with him. <laughs> Chad memorized all the unassessed monsters and yell at you. I, I wouldn't mind if people remind me. Look, I completely missed... I missed a Sephiroth, I guess. What's the difference? 
Oh my god. Oh my god, he brought the wall with him. <laughs> wow, he's got so many weapons out. <laughs> Remember defeated zero? Oh, maybe it's not a... Oh. Maybe it's not... Story related? Hmm. Is there a secret thing that I haven't done yet? Well, this is definitely gonna help in order of bosses. Okay, so I don't have to scan Midgar Zalem. But, okay, so I need to bring ice. No idea, you're missing it too. Hmm. The Hojo thing, I did all the Hojo stuff. A lot of the combat stuff I did off stream. Chadley? I think it's the final fight in Brutal Challenge. Okay. Maybe it's middle manager. I hope I fight him. Okay, so after chapter two, because if, okay, you get HP and MP replenishment after, like, at the beginning of each chapter. So Midgar Zalem's the only boss in chapter two, and then the mines are considered chapter three, right? I am the hidden boss. Correct. Okay, so I can go all out with MP on this guy. So I'm gonna give everybody Blizzard. Here, Barrett, you can come with us. Well, Barrett and Red will have their own fight. Oh, well, who's got better magic? I just want to pelt magic at them. Okay, I'll bring, I'll bring Red. Plus, I really like cosmic, whatever it's called. Start a stray. I can go for a blizzard right now, too. That sounds really good. What time is it? 9.30? Probably too late for a blizzard. I accidentally made him leader. Oh, I need to switch. Then up using spells that much. So I had to use a lot of items. Yeah, I feel like. Magic is really good in this. Uh, oh god, I took out- The only thing- the only thing I find overwhelming in this game with Materia is like- Sometimes I just can't be asked to change out the Materia. Because you're constantly swapping characters and all that stuff. And it's just like, gotta freaking switch shit again. It's just so much sometimes. Okay, I think- I think I'll be okay. Why won't you stay dead? If it wears off without even to mess with it. I think with autocast though, like you have to use the ability. Like it's not like synergy that like any command they use it. I think you have to use it. And then they that's the only way they cast re-raise. Could be wrong though. It would they'd burn through their MP though. I see, I see. So it would like cast it even if it's not so, needed. I'm sure this is safe. Her pockets of the bar are damn near bodies. Plus, there's that giant man eating serpent. Bill assured us the chocobos could handle it. Have some faith in our feathered friends. <coughs> Whee! Incredible. I think when I put this hard mode playthrough on YouTube, I'll just edit out all the times I mess with materia. So if people want to figure out what I do, just I don't know. Slow down the boss fight. I'm- I'm too swibby. I love this swamp though! I was looking at- Over there. Hold on. <gasps> Why are you in a Except swamp? For... What? That's just Marco, you silly. Come on. Incoming, what's your build? <laughs> My build is I change it all the time for what I'm fighting. Well, and I love this part so much because especially when you compare it to the original game. <laughs> like, this is how amazing this game is. Look, this this is the swamp, guys. Look at that. It's so great. I love it. <laughs> Create a playlist of only material management. I would, I would go insane because you would just be hearing a lot of this. Like, just menu noises. 
Tick, 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 tick. Yeah, why'd the game get remade? It looks exactly the same. Boring. It's got... It's got both shades of green. <laughs> two whole shades of green. You can really tell it's a swamp because it has two shades of green. But now we got like trees and shit coming out of them. And Sephiroth's here. Here, your take on the soulless sequel. Here's my take on the soulless sequel. Oh, look at all the soul of those two shades. And then, ugh, took me more than two shades. Yeah, look at, look at Red riding on Chocobo, how soulless. <laughs> He's so cute. That Sephiroth? Let's go. Uh oh. This is so it was such a surprise that we have to fight the Zalem. What the hey, everybody's got ice, right? Hey, get back here right now! Chokies run! Or I should add it haste. Crap. It disguised itself as an island. Gee, I had no and like that angle so this angle right here, because that's like how you fight him if he's just too tall. It's on you. Take over. That's how much Blizzaga did. <laughs> hey, he's already pressured, the stupid idiot. I didn't do regen, or it didn't work on- Oh yeah, because I don't have healing all. I was like, why? Thank you for the prime sub! Hi, weeds. We a stupid snake. Wait, scorching breath. I love him fighting with his old man voice. Okay. What the? Is it <laughs> I can just stagger him. Everyone, your <laughs> Keep your distance, everyone. Oh, I should add stop. Let's see, Cloud, what do we want to do here? Here, Tifa. Oh, it's Cranial Dome. Red. I wish she had enough time to get Stardust. Cloud to do it because <laughs> he's got swift cast. Hold on. No, Cloud! Cloud! Cloud's got swift cast. Hold on. He's probably gonna miss though. Blizzard's funny like that. <laughs> hey, 
I used synergy to try to interrupt it, but it didn't work. late for that. I should probably heal. Oh my Tifa! I really want her limit break to go up. Tifa is busy. I need to your user eyes real quick. Okay. And now just kill it. Oh, it's the first time I did this one. I don't even know what it did. Tifa, I really want her to get Meteor Strike so I can end it with Meteor Strike. Oops, there's a tree in my way. Tifa, get, like, hit or hit him or something. I did with Meteor Strike. Yes! It's happening! Damaged cranium. Fuck it, let's go. Come on, Tifa. Not Star Shower, you fool. Oh my god, I didn't even get to use it because she was queuing up Star Shower. Anyway, kicked his ass. Easy. Easy game. It was still ep epic with Star Shower, but damn it! <laughs> <sighs> Red leaving his uh, woo on on his way out was pretty great. Cloud. No. More like hardly any challenge. Got him. I'm gonna regret saying that. Don't worry. Did me I already saw Meteor Strike. I love it. It's the coolest thing ever. Help me, Sephiroth! Whirlpool. Woo! I love that this happens. Like you can you see the did Sephiroth do this moment.
Sephiroth, help him. Did Sephiroth do this? Technically. Or maybe it's Cloud. I beat the first two bosses on hard mode, Aaron. First try. You remember who I am? Aerith. Oh, it's good to have you back, Cloud. Sephiroth? I knew he was strong, but still. Those guys are looking for him, too. They've got to be. Yeah, I kind of get that feeling as well. <laughs> Auto trader music. ad. How'd they get him back? He just just showed up. With Midgar gone, you can Midgar you can now swim through the swamplands. Bye, Aerith. Thank you. Good night. I did hundred percent all the side stuff on first to go, but not like. There's a lot of side stuff. There's like hard mode things of versions of, that I, of mini games that I didn't 100% yet. But that's like more post game stuff, I guess. Let's continue. Yeah, it's only 10. I can at least go through the caves. I started pretty late today. I was feeling like shit earlier. Like I almost didn't want to stream, but I feel so much better now. So I'm really glad that I, I decided to stream because I would have started feeling better like like an hour ago, and I would have regretted not streaming. Rebirth cures all, yeah. Seeing Sephiroth be a nice boy in Midgar. Refusing the pie. Yeah, the mu the shooter games are pretty hard. Max difficulty mini games are like hard mode ish. Yeah, well, they're like expert mode, they say, but yeah, I, I feel like that's gonna end up being the hardest thing about this game. Freaking Sephiroth 3D Brawler. I'm gonna die doing that one. So there's a crack in this game, that's how you did like 10 hours. But it was like, yeah, it was like 10, 10 streams in a row of like 13 hours. Complete chapter two on hard. Nothing to it. HP MP restore, like we predicted. I have no He's entry. here, isn't he? I don't know. I don't know. Well, monsters sure are. No doubt. Monsters we can handle. We've dealt with worse. That's easy for you to say. You fought the worst for a living. Not us, though. Yeah, good boy. That's you music mind incoming. Taking the lead, Merc? For 2,000. Hey. <laughs> Enough for her standard course twice, right? Her what now? Ask him. You're such a shitster. Uh, the standard course? course? Forget it. You guys need to focus. It wasn't all that yes. long ago that this place was a working mithril mine. Y'all know about mithril, right? Hmm. Not mithril. anything specific, no. It's pretty tough. And beautiful besides. Right on both sides. is so good. But what you might not realize is just how rare it is. Does the myth mine song sound like from the original? It does. Just the way they- Okay, there's two. Wait. Wait, does, does Cloud and Tifa and Aerith have their own boss and Barret and Red have their own? Where else are the manuscripts? I, this song is really good. I love how it still sounds so much like the original song. Caves, in fact, and I ought to know. Oh yeah, the golem. I remember the Turks, the golem, yeah. Okay. Not to it has to be them the then. Should we pick up a few souvenirs then? Mm, we could, but probably not worth it. Shinra's been churning out stuff made with more durable alloys for years now. Even got that signature mithril sheen and everything. Probably refined with materia too. Look at you, Mr. Shinra expert. Mr. Shinra expert. It's them. It seems we've caught up. Come on. Hey, fellers. I like that they get split up here. Like, it's it's just fun that every party member has something to do. 
Yeah. But if not, nothing we can do. Mm. Oh, do you still have all the Queen's Blood card? I think so. It still retains that you beat the bosses, though. I don't know. We I can bear it helping for Tifa. You know what? I will check. Okay, I'll come too. Nah, you stay. I know what I'm doing down here. You don't. Last thing we need is you getting hurt on us. I'll accompany him. I'm no stranger to caves. Oh. Okay, if you're sure. Sorry to. I mean, thank you. Yay, Tifa. <clears throat> that whole interaction was so sweet. You keep track of the other robes now. Yeah. The sweet Baron. Of course. <clears throat> I do really like that they pair up Baron and Red so much. Careful anyway. down there. All right, time to swap the old materia. Another ten minutes. If we didn't have that, I think it'd be more simple. Materials from the organization meta, yeah. Because RE4 original was so much fun. Okay, I think I think we have a squad. Oh, in this era, I I did I did this off stream, but I got I got the ray of judgment Ron for her, so she's gonna use, start using ray of judgment. But I'm probably not gonna use it that much because her ATB is gonna be elsewhere. I'm in a rush, so... so long. Go, Aerith, go! <laughs> See, comment. She's like, oh yeah, Sephiroth? Think I'm all warmed up. Saved six grenades and used two at the end. Wow, you fool. I don't care what that materia is, I don't need it. Actually, I don't know, I might need it. <laughs> Something else you have to level up. He's Vieris. Sorry. Sorry. I'm through with you. Use Comet, go! Enough of you. And the music gets so calm again. Oh, this is such a good song. What do you think it is? Probably regular healing. Oh, called it. I don't need it though. You could just start like making material and selling it. With me meteors like Anakin's turn into the dark side. Let her. <laughs> Let her turn. She deserves it. Common the original. Can you get Ultima from a well or something? Or was that Comet? Feels weird. Can't remember if it's Comet or Ultima. But one of they they find it when you save Ma uh, North Perel from the train slamming into it. Which, by the way, I don't really think this game's gonna have that because I don't see a train like right next to Mount Pearl, the North Pearl. Anyway, you save the town from the train colliding into it and then some little girl says like, I found this at a well and then gives it to you. No, Ultima's in the original. I think Comet was in elsewhere. Yeah, which one was which? Ultima's from the well, right? Where's Comet then? No well. I mean, the well is not the problem. Is the train? Is there a train track attached to Corel? That's pretty soulless. Thomas from Forgotten Capital. Got it. Wow, this place is huge. What 
What's that? Oh, Tifa? Let me tell you. Hopefully, her ticket out of here. There are tracks at least. Okay, I didn't Let's notice see. the tracks so well. Other than like gold saucer stuff. I'll just look at Mount Northgar. I was not thinking about that at all when I played it first time. I'll have to lock and look for the train track next time. But I maybe there's a well somewhere behind a building that we wouldn't see. That well is such an important part of the game. Oh, this song. Can crawl up prisons well and still hold that area. I know it's like, it just looks like the slums there. Like they're having a great time. <laughs> it doesn't feel very much like a prison. Oh, I have to scan the perk once we get there. Because we don't have their weakness. Or it's probably fire because we're humans. Oh, lightning. And then rude is weak to wind. Aw, oh, shit. I'm gonna need both. Well, I can use swift cast, lightning, fire, and wind. Cloud, and then I could just add their mate Tifa's materia can just be. Ooh, no, Tifa's materia could be lightning because she also has like the discharge attack, so I can make her go like beeline for Elena. Glorious and long ultimate and knights around are gonna look like knights around. <laughs> it's gonna be so cool. I don't see any black robes. Did we lose them? I've still got time to catch up. If any of them are still alive. Me about Reno. He holding up okay? Is he okay? He's been through worse. He's been instructed to take some time to himself. To relax. Recuperate. <laughs> He's bored out of his mind. I'm wrong, but that sounds a lot like a nice, long, all-expenses-paid vacation. Well, more or less. Lucky. Hardly. <laughs> He's bored out of his mind. He's so bored. <laughs> Probably misses it. <sighs> What's wrong? It's nothing. Just... Keep talking. Uh. She's like, he misses it. Is Rude gonna be like, I miss him? Aww. How zooming out the world map map screen is the pause button. It makes you hit pause you on the map all the time. Oh, I've done that. Elena's great in this. That was fast. Okay. What do you mean I can't? I can't go with my... My... Oh man, can I not go to my inventory anymore? Because of the Turks? Okay. Ooh, <laughs> you get too close, you can't go to your inventory. Okay, so they're weak to wind and lightning. Alright, so swift cast. Swift cast lightning and wind. Enemy skill. I have to give that to Tifa. And then she could just be a lightning bolt. I magnify. Does anyone have lightning that I could just take <laughs> to adding it? I know I have lightning already, but I want elemental. Well, here, we, he could be on- yeah, he could be on electric duty. No, because that's gonna make, like, the rude fight kind of suck. But if we can hone in on Elena first. And then she could use electric discharge. They almost scan me. Little gamer check. You make it a lot harder to avoid field encounters. Yeah, it goes so fast when you ignore the common enemy. 
he's gonna be bullying her i elena and reno definitely seem like they're gonna butt heads a lot because their personalities are pretty similar so i can see them yeah it's gonna be great to see them interact more elena screaming it's so funny okay magnify healing that's getting eight peed up <gasps> oh i thought that was level two already we 78 synergy comet okay Aerith's good Okay, I think we're fine. New stream, welcome. Yeah, rude between Elena and Reno. That's gonna be great. Alright, wish me luck. They're they don't seem easy. Actually, here, I'm gonna let Oliver's bark you. Let me see what he wants first, and then I'll start. Remember when I play last, once you beat it, you're like, well, back to DVD. Oh, the disappointment. I need to look at okay, that's for healing. What's clouds? Fill one ATB chart to start a battle. Yeah, that helps. Um, Groucho Marx, is that me? I need a better one for her. After using five types of commands. Pose a limit gauge halfway to start a battle. Oh, I have that on Yuffie right now. Mm. I'll have it on her for a bit. No, Alter, I didn't. Not yet. That guy's a cheater. I don't know how I'm going to beat him. That's hard mode right there. I mean, I guess I could just pause buffer, but... Don't laugh, okay? <laughs> Already eavesdropped on the conversation. Wait. I would like to eavesdrop more, though. Talk about Reno some more. I guess, I guess we're done here. <laughs> I don't have a ribbon. Seriously? What are we even doing here? What are you even doing here? Sorry, but I gotta say it. This mission, it makes no sense. Why are we wasting our time following these hooded weirdos around? Orders are orders. The whys and wherefores are not our concern. Yeesh. Maybe you need a vacation. So about him, Mr. Workaholic. Thoughts? Thought. <laughs> Poor guy. I say we put him down. I mean, that's what Sung would do if he was here. <sighs> Assholes. Who's there? <gasps> Sharp ears. Oh, damn it. Way to go, Tifa. <gasps> no freaking way. <laughs> Avalanche. Feast your eyes on the Turk's latest and greatest, Elena. But you three can call me your worst nightmare. Where's Reno? On vacation. And unfortunately for you, I'm here to fill in. She may be new, but she's still a Turk. And a consummate professional. <laughs> you wish. Okay, she's weak to electric, he's weak to wind. Watch this, ready? Keep it together. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Oh, you're already pressured? No, stop! Fucking target Elena. <laughs> Her yells already. Okay, so Elena's out for for the count. Okay, Aerith, a little less meteors. <laughs> What's wrong with Aerith? Oh, she's paralyzed. Yeah. 
Alina's back. Tifa! No! Damn it, rude. They're trying to do the Turks 2 step. Not if I have anything to say about it. Tifa, go. <laughs> and staggered Elena. She's so cool, but you know for a fact Rude's like, oh my god, I love this. Cloud's like, what, if, what even is Cloud doing right now? <laughs> like, everyone's... <laughs> Freaking Tifa has this under control. Cloud's just watching. It's like, damn, Rude's so lucky. Do it again, Cloud. Here, Aerith, what are you doing? <laughs> Here, is there an Aerith and Cloud one? No. All right, well, he's almost. Don't you shockwave. So it's my turn? That's it. You've got this. It's on you. Oh my god, we can almost use Meteor Strike again. Easy. I thought y'all were Turks. Hands in the air. Right now. Better keep that toy where I can see it. Lest you want a hole in your head. Now then. Y'all got a lot to answer for. A lot of blood on your hands. You need someone to blame. Why is he even up there? I know he's up there in like the original, but it's not just a cave. Marco! So that's the only reason he's up there. I suggest you look in the mirror. For us, however, things have changed. While you're still wanted fugitives, if you stay out of our way, we'll stay out of yours. Oh yeah? Bullshit! Take care of Aerith for me. Damn. Nice one, Red. Nice one, Red. I know Elena's pretty cool. <laughs> What's Red? Oh, he's like a dog cat. Just gonna float there. <laughs> he was swimming. Hey, where are the others? Yeah, she's lucky she has cutscene powers because Meteor Strike We're fucked good. her up. Just taking a quick dip to get the crime off. 
Oh, I love this part of the caves. We'll find one. We'll meet you at the exit. Okay. It's been so shiny. Hojo's lab was filled with men like this. Mako poisoned. Every last one of them. Poor bastards. What do you think their deal is? Where they going? They're following Sephiroth. Or so Cloud seems to think. He did say that. Let's hope the boy can keep it together. He can't. All right, back to the old materia switcheroo. The cloud shuffling his feet. Oh, his magic's not that much better. All right, uh, <laughs> what are we giving everyone? What's the boss we do? I'm just gonna try to run past it for everyone. One of the best songs. Lightning. Resistant to physical attacks, but damaging its head will pressure, making physical attacks more effective. This is rock man. Lesser resistant sleep. Or let the utilize stop more. Alright, lightning it is. <laughs> okay, now time and sleep and stop will last longer. I wanna try hitting using stop on a stagger bar. Do -do 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 -do. All right. Now how are we getting out of here? That might be an option. Doesn't concern you, crystalline crabbies. Don't look at me. Oh yeah, take the materia part out. Don't mind us just mining a bit. It is crazy how it took me like two whole oh god. It took me like two whole streams to get here my first way through because I was like hearing everything. But like we're just here five hours in. <laughs> I still can't get over it. It's just that's how dense this game is, but that's also just how I don't even want to say short like the main game is it's, it's not. Like it's still pretty long, right? I just feel like it's paced really well. <clears throat> Not gonna get stuck behind here. Go! Oh. Game at whatever pace you want. Custom pace. Mm, I did some of the brutal VR missions, not all of them though. I'll wait for the, saving that for later. Are we mining? Oh my god, they're gonna fall on your head, Barrett! Cool. Pawn stars is gonna be a good deal. They're gonna 
call in a friend that's an expert? Wait a second. I don't care what's up there. So close yet so far. Barret! This is a- oh man, oh, that does that, I forgot. This is a, such a fun playthrough though, because we really do just get to- Like, I, I've experienced the intel, I have 100% of the intel already, I did all side missions. We've been able to bond over, like, the new elements. But now we just get to go through the story. We get to really dive deep in the combat since it's hard mode. It's like, I don't know, I feel like on normal you can get away with a lot of just, like, square and braver. Got banned from a clear service chat for trolling. Don't troll. Don't do that. Shippers are annoying sometimes, but don't... Don't troll just for... Just to annoy people. But anyway, but this is a really good... Good, uh, way just to experience the story. Combat, we get to talk about stuff. I, it's fun to try to... I, I like when you go through stories a second time, because you can pick up on clues that are, like, obviously more obvious now. I think Claire Day is definitely canon. Well, that's that's her business. <laughs> to me, they're all canon, which means he kissed Tifa, and Barrett told him his backstory. Red got to be a cute little dog. That's okay, just who cares? Who cares about shipping discourse? It's like the least interesting topic. Is who is paired up with Cloud. You know you know who I only care about? Who's paired up with Vincent, and that's me. That's my headcanon. Ah, oh, damn it! Wait, what are you? Weak to fire? I don't have that. Rock. Joey, thanks for 28 months. Wait, I don't care whose stream it was. Don't. Also. Oh god. Yeah, I do. First of all, because R is my friend too, so like the fact that you're like bragging about trolling my friend's chat isn't a good look. You literally just said you were trolling. No, hard mode's been pretty easy so far. <laughs> I know I'm gonna regret my words later, but right now it's pretty easy. I don't know, fire. Alright, well anyway, moving on. The only shipping I care about is me and Vincent. Ogre's trying to get in my way. He knows I'm not gonna see Vincent till like, tomorrow now. Is he resist? No, he's not resist. Oh, Red, you're using Comet, right? Is he? Oh, he is. Dude, I don't care what you're saying, okay? What happens? What happens in another stream chat is between you and them. Has, has no business here. So anyway... We buy a Queensboy car she knows Vincent plays. I'm, I'm seriously just gonna buy- I'm gonna make sure I can buy all the ones that have Vincent on it. Just so no one else could have them. Oh my god, Vincent, look, I have all your cards! Oh, is this- oh, it is the path. Oh my god, Red, you're weak. Okay, I can handle it. Hey, buddies! Look who it is. Hey, guys! Over here! 
Y'all taking a breather, or what? The bridge is out! Do you think you can give us a hand? Hmm. Let me see. That makes us even. I thought it was pretty funny, Cloud. First time and the second time. Are you back at it? I've been playing this game for two weeks straight. No items on hard mode, nope. Instead of the legendary card mining when Bucky told Sam he read the first part of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Vince is like, yeah, I've been playing QB since it was invented. A day off. Hey, just because I didn't stream it doesn't mean I wasn't playing it. I was definitely playing it. I was doing like all sorts of Chadley stuff. I was grinding to level 70. I've literally been playing this since it came out like almost all day. Oh, how do we move the container? We shoot it, right? Haha. Haha. Regardless of chapter. Oh, that's good. Thanks, Chadley. So we have to go there, remember. Can I... Do I have to move? I swear that letter wasn't there two seconds ago. Wasn't stream, it didn't happen. Yeah, not to you. Oh, look at that one trying to turn the lever. Hey, Red. Damn it. He couldn't use Comet. Wait, so sitting on a bench does. Yeah, have a nice seat, Barrett. Okay, so at least restores HP, just not FP. That's pretty good. Called you Chadley Milton? Your game was FF7. Not Chadley's in a game more annoying than ever kills you. <laughs> Why they call you Chadley Milton? That's pretty funny. Uh, I'm sorry that your childhood trauma's been transcended into adulthood. <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny, though. No idea just happened. I was following your all-time favorite game. It knew. Chadley was like, he, he's he's been cooking since the year 1999. Y'all just didn't know it then. But they pose and register and I was thinking about the scene was different to you before his voice changed. I think you'd have to do it before his voice changed, right? Yeah, no, because my mine I did it as soon as I could possibly do it, and I think it did the higher voice. Look at Barry, he's just unbothered, just pushing through rock. Bench placement's pretty good in this game. Uh let's just proceed, because I don't really care about these items. Whatever is up there. Oh shit, no, we have to push it there. My bad. I can still move my tail. <laughs> yeah, that's what I got too. Look at Red go! <laughs> that, does that happen all the time? He's always just on the track. He doesn't get posed until the seconds that unlock after Kazuo. Oh yeah, 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 because there was the... Because you, you have, you could do the first proto-relics whenever you want. 
And then Chadley calls you and says like, oh, I'll have to find the second two later. And then, yeah, when his voice changes, that's when Chadley calls you and be like, oh, you can do these two now. That makes sense. So I was like, yeah, I definitely did them ASAP, but also I had the young red voice. Oh, now he struggles. Because he's in a cutscene. We're in business. Thanks. Oh, the Aerith one is so bad, I agree. The Yuffie one's not too bad. Don't you forget. I'd rather have, like, anybody. Aerith's like, let me try and be like, no, I don't know how to use you. Two grand. Game that was like when we get Vincent. Can't wait. Oh my god, think of all the mini games Vincent's gonna be able to be a part of. I think we can open it from here. More than Queen's Blood. The fact that he's attached to Queen's Blood quest is so funny to me. Like they really just made him a dork. Just like Law and his comic book obsession. I told you everybody in the North Blue read it. Yeah, sure. Everyone in Ebelheim played Queen's Blood, sure, Vincent. has blood in the title. All right, boss time. So ready. I don't know if I can handle a harder jewels mission. Oh shit. Think we woke it up. Oh shit. Angered it more like. Then it's time to rock Cranky Boy here back to sleep. My boys! Ah, looks like that hurt you. You got this! In need of my aid? No way to find my feeding top. <laughs> Does Barrett have staggering freeze? Yes, it does stop the stagger meter. Oh, okay, well, we can't hurt it anymore. At least I can get my ATB up while we wait. Yeah, dude, stop is so broken if you can just stop the stagger meter. I think that's the only way to get it to like 300%. That lasts a while, too. Especially with the magic efficiency one. Uh, if you have it fully leveled up. Ooh, that changes everything. I like your arm. Oh, I thought it was bear. <laughs> what? Why is my ATV not going? specific combo Tifa. Just Tifa? I don't catch she has one as well. Oh, I can't use it anymore. <laughs> there are some people too small. Yeah, those don't do shit. Oh, 
The moon. Keep it together. Yeah, oh no, he's gonna kill Red. Does Barrett have re raves? Uh oh. He might die. We still got a job to do. No, what is these lasers? What the fuck? I thought I destroyed all of its parts. Alright, it's good you apologize to her, Bonsai. Alright, let's constant trash talk. Uh, but then I got lasered. Here, what does it say? Uh, okay, it doesn't say anything about lasers. I must have missed when it did something. I really don't even need to use thunder. Like yeah, it's help help more helpful for like pressure, but Oh, I can't hurt it anymore. Let's just get our ATB up for next. Alright, double full ATB bar. Let's go. I love the Stardust Race Sound, is one of my favorites. Everything is just throw throw them at the throw your allies at the enemy. Hey, hold on. What's all Rocky up to now? No stagger! What the fuck? You've been pressured for 30 years! Oh my god, the comet staggered him. Ooh. 
that down. The laser thing is all about. Yeah, that's still an AoE. Okay, it is the spine. I don't like that I wasted it on it, but I kind of had no choice. I should have made red heal with um I kept I really have to worry about mana. Oh, his spine's still not fully broken. That explains something. Throws, <laughs> throws his friends. Oh my god, if only somebody's limit was up. Um, let's see. I mean, I can't. Oh, its limit is up. I wanted level three. Okay, do I heal with red or do I Stardust, right? I can't use stop. I should heal just to be sure, unfortunately. Make the most of it. It's over. Let the it's all the <laughs> Nice. Oh, he's almost dead. Get him, Barrett! Oh, die already! Reduce whatever! Die! Finally! <laughs> Jesus. Decision, decision. I was, they were both run, running really low on MP. I'm glad I paced it as much as I did. Even if it was a slower fight, I still did it. That's yes. a mighty fine stick. Easy. Thank you kindly. It's the only one that I died on once. Dude, that freaking, I know. All that stagger on one HP. You cannot use items even outside of battle. It's like completely grayed out. But you can sit on benches to regain HP. Not MP, though. If you want to regain MP, you either have to go to a chocobo bench, so like outside of dungeons, or uh, the chapter ends. Hey, friends! You did it. I did it. Hey! What took you? Stumbled on the killer rock formation and couldn't mm. tear ourselves away. Boxes have MP. 
The ground here could give like way two, though. Moment. We shouldn't linger. True, but don't forget, Shinra knows we're here now. Might be more of them outside. That doesn't make any difference. Blue benches give you just HP. I ain't stopping, not for them or anyone. Not after Midgar. Not after what we saw. We all know what's at stake here. The fate of the world. Is that that Barrett brings that up? So if they get in our way, that's on them. Right. Let's get back to tailing the guys in robes. They're our best chance of finding Sephiroth. Game's a 10 out of 10 for me, too. My party's back! Oh, good music's back, too. You care so much about the planet, I know. I do love that we, um... Uh, like, we get so much of him loving the planet, and then when you learn of its backstory, it's because, like, he feels like he doomed it. Now he's just hyper, like, trying to right his wrongs. I want a level of item economizer material to use more items. Yeah, what a useless material. I think this game, this game definitely has some flaws. So I, I don't think it's like a literal 10 out of 10, but I think those flaws like don't matter in the long run. So it makes it still a 10 out of 10 to me. Like easy. It's an easy 10 out of 10 despite the issues. Like some of the issues aren't like that small. Like it like for me, it's it's more like personal stuff. Like I wish Reno was in it more like how he's like where he's the place in the OG. But I understand they're doing the whole like Elena angle first. Like I get it. And then like the... <sighs> the Forgotten Capital. Stuff like that. It's just more of like personal things, but I don't think it ruins the game. Disappointing. Well, oh, and of course, Vincent not being playable. But like, again, I understand. We made it to Junon! Complete chapter three. Hey, check it out. <sighs> I think, yeah, Game of the Year is this an infinite world for sure. Guess so. Where they're lined up. Huh? Poor dude. Yeah. Oh my god. He ain't coming back. You know, get off of this train that we're on. Or whatever he says. That city they're headed to. Is that Juno? <laughs> Shinra territory. Come on. Oh, maybe I'll fail this time so we can actually watch the Roche winning scene. We already won, it doesn't matter. I don't need to do it again. We can just watch Cloud horribly fumble. We gotta follow them. Well damn guys, we made it through the entire grasslands in like five hours. Which is not what I could say <laughs> in my first playthrough. You already got my trophy. I have nothing to prove. Oh my god, just seeing Judon from here. It's so good. How many scripts are here? I don't know, but I think I'm gonna continue tomorrow. Uh, two. Where would they be and where would these be? Is there a boss in Judon? Oh man, is am I gonna get a script for perfecting the minigame? I should look up the scripts instead of constantly asking. The big f oh yeah, yeah yeah we have we do have to go to under Juno. The big fish boss with Yuffie, yes. Yeah, I'll play Dragon's Dog eventually. Yeah, tear the deep at least. One it has to be an, a mini game one. Oh thank you, Billy. Do you remember anything about Juno in the original except Fort Condor? And let's say they expanded so much. They really did. It's like, you, you go to like this little town, you take the elevator, you become part of the play. Um, hard mode. Chapter three. Or chapter four. Beat white terror. What? 
Oh, that's... That's not here. Wait, where's the white terror one? What? Well, this is- wait, this is already confusing me. Because they're saying to do white terror, but I didn't miss one on chapter two. That's chapter two, I didn't miss one. Yeah, white terror is the dog boss, but it's saying... It's saying that one's in chapter two, but that's not true. Anyway, chapter four. Beat Mind Flare Intel. Okay, wait, this doesn't seem right. I don't think this is right. Is Terror of the Deep not one of them? Yeah, because they're also saying chapter two beat Art of or beat Quetzalcoatl. Okay, well, I'm not worried about that. Anyway, okay, we... I think it's a good point to stop. Um, oh yeah, Roche. Oh my god, yeah. If you, this game's gonna be such a helpful reminder for, like, what chapter has what. Forgot that we fight Roche here.